My camera's not working. My camera's not working. Good morning, chat. Good morning, chat. I am a very, very unhappy foxu today. Today, today was not a good day. Today, today, today was the day I lost How are you supposed to know the last little bit of faith ah, I had ah, in ah, artists. My ah, 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 ah. <coughs> <coughs> tactile tag mimic talent tantalizing tapestry tassel tectonic telegraphic telekinetic teleological tellurian temerarius tendentious tensible tersen tenial terpsichorean tessellated testudinal tetrametric thalassic thematic tangent fox tuesday <coughs> Toast Engineer, thank you for the wonderful alliteration. A shining beacon in my depression. Cheese Ward lose game. <coughs> Way. I used to make sand castles with grandma, but my parents found it creepy and glued the urn shut. Why would you do that? What is wrong with you? Do not do not make castles with your grandma like that. Thank you. Thank you for the ten dollars, Alex. My like guy. a dirty dog, you are! So, after today's events, and I, I can't even go into detail about them because of what I'm planning. I, it's just like I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to ruin my own excitement for other things and see, you know, because I won't get the response from you guys if I ruin it either, and I want to see that. <laughs> so I can't even go into detail about what happened yet, probably for like a week at least, but. I reached out to my lawyer who made me the copyright contract back in 2021 that transfers all rights of any artwork that an artist does when I pay them for it to me. And I'm going I'm going to have any any future contracts with artists. And thankfully, this is something that I'm able to do. Any future contracts I have with artists, not only is there a clause that if they miss the deadline by more than 30 days, they don't get paid. Any any time after that 30 day buffer period, they will have to pay me damages. I am sick of artists. I am tired of artists. My last bit of empathy for artists getting replaced with AI is fucking gone. I don't care anymore. I hope you get replaced by AI at this point. I am so fucking mad. I am so fucking mad. I have I have been I have been dealing with artist bullshit for four fucking years. And it's like I'm tired of soon t it's gone. It's completely gone. I feel zero sympathy. Anger crashed the stream. Oh man. That's what happens when I get angry. I didn't kill her, Chad, I swear. <laughs> Damn, that was quick. Why are the beginnings of my streams always scuffed now? Why are they always scuffed? I don't get it. Back. <laughs> so I, I, I was just like, I'm, I'm very happy for the artists I've worked with that aren't pieces of shit. But goddamn, those of you who aren't pieces of shit are few and far fucking between. It is so goddamn hard to find reliable artists out here. And I am, I'm just, I'm tired of watching like the circle jerk of all of this, oh, respect artists. If you're a VTuber, artists literally make you. And it's like, yeah, you do, but you don't respect our time and you don't respect us. And I'm tired of that only going one fucking way. Greetings from the side of I-40 in beautiful Nashville. Pothole got my passenger tires during a lane change. Hope to still make it to TX and meet you there. If you find a good artist, you stick with that motherfucker? That's what I've tried to do. That's what I have tried to do. But it seems like, and like, I, I'm gonna bring up like Neon Beat here. Even if there's someone who is a very well-known artist who works with very large VTuber names, you still can't trust them. I understand. Let me... My Oshi is dead. 
What the fuck is going on today? I don't know. I don't know what the fuck is going on today. I don't know what the fuck is going on today. There shouldn't be any Zeus. I mean, I guess it is kind of white outside. Looks like it's on Kirsch's end. Yeah, if both YouTube and Twitch are suffering, it's on my end. But I don't I don't know why it would be why it would be doing that. To contextualize, let's assume it was the 2D model. The rigging would be done by someone else. If the artist is not delivering on time, there should have been a clause on the contract itself to refund, in part or in whole, for work not produced. Yeah. Yeah, I, I get anxious enough giving, giving contracts to artists in general because it's basically like, hey, we're going to mutually dox ourselves to each other, and the only way you know that I'm not going to do anything with this is because you just innately trust that I won't, right? So it's like, I'm, I'm nervous enough giving artists contracts, but at, at this point, I have lost all sympathy. I will not see artists as human. I will give them a contract that not only transfers the copyright to me, but they will have to pay damages if they start fucking off. Because I'm <laughs> sick of it, dude. I'm sick of it. The Indian and the Ukrainian super hackers got her earlier. I don't know why. I don't know why there's there's issues. I'm sorry about the, the beginning of scream, stream scuff. Kirsch is pissing off the internet assassins. Is this that YouTube didn't have issues with the first one, so the internet gods needed to do a second one that actually affected YouTube. True. True and real. Internet's been fucked all day. Very weird. Very weird. You'll be rich! Hopefully! Hopefully the threat of them having to pay damages Big boy, fuck uh, will actually mean I get work completed on time by artists. You gotta say, get them for their idiocy. I, I'm just like, I am astounded. I am astounded that I have been doing this since 2018 and I have had literally nothing but issues since 2020 trying to commission artists and there's no there's no innate way you can trust them. The large artists are fucked, the small artists are fucked, the beginning artists are fucked. You can't trust any of them. So like what the fuck are you supposed to do? Hold me chat. What the actual fuck are you supposed to do? Worst luck in the entire industry. Unironically, I, I had I had an artist who doesn't really do too much in the scene anymore reach out to me on Twitter, and they were like, "Hey, sorry, sorry if this is like a weird question, but like, you've you're, you're pretty you're pretty big indie. Uh, you you've been you've been doing this for a long time. How come you're still using a Vroid?" And I was like. Let me tell you why artists are the scum of the earth, dear madame. <laughs> and then, like, I, I messaged them today, and they were just like, I, I am absolutely 100% assured that you were just cursed. I, f I feel like you are just cursed at this point. <laughs> You're assuming a lot if you think artists are smart enough to fear consequences. Hey, yo! if an artist starts fucking me over with an actual legal clause that they're going to have to pay me X amount of dollars every day that they are late, if they don't fear that, if they don't fear me actually coming after them for that, I, I don't know what to tell you. That idiocy runs deep. <laughs> it's because they want to make a living off of their hobby, but still want to treat it as a hobby. They think they can take on as many commissions to live, but not complete them unless they're inspired. I, I've had, I've had this conversation with multiple people that I didn't even work with, right? Where I'm just like, hey, and, and it's not, it's not just artists either. Like Clipper channels run into this as well, where, where they want to like, just, you know, do absolutely everything for everyone they enjoy. And it's like, you can't, you can't do that. Like, I understand, I understand your, your motivation and I understand you have drive and you want to do all of these things, but you have to pace yourself. You cannot take on more than you can chew or you will become overwhelmed. You will then feel depressed and you will get nothing done and you will have nothing but upset clients at that point. So even if it feels like you can take on more, please fucking pace yourself. Good artists don't fuck you over. Kirsch is just fucking cursed. This is a series of ungodly bad actors fucking over multiple people, not just Kirsha. I was just like, oh my God. I'm, I am so tired, dude. I am so tired. <laughs> Congrats, you described all artists. And Kirsha's like cursed the lore of her life. Please, please. <laughs> There's nothing sacred about art since it's just a client artist partnership. I, I always loved being able to support artists and especially as I grew, I could like get larger and larger artists and pay more for it. 
uh, but it's like uh, th there's a point where your optimism is is no longer rooted in reality and i feel like if i stayed optimistic about this i would i would be literal insanity right doing the same thing and expecting shit to change is actually insanity who's worse journalist or artist good fucking question the journalist might want me to lose my job, but the artists actually directly affect my income, so I don't know, dude. Emperor Creatine, then give you the five dollars. Is it time to summon the distinguished Italian gentleman yet? We can get some friends of ours over this to sit Weekly down and reminder, square the books Gato real easy. Will continue because Gato is a weirdo. Oh, and I guess raise a mouse. Oh God, you need to start being the hard ass Foxy. That's why I need a manager. Like I can get angry. But even when I'm angry, like, I cry, and then I feel bad for being angry. I'm, I'm just glad that I have tons of people around me who are just like, no, don't feel bad for being angry. Your patience has been literally fucking ridiculous. Journos are worse, but artists are my personal enemy. <sighs> Can confirm JP artists are worth paying for? They're harder to find, though. I can't, I can't, I can't, like, there's nowhere I can scroll through JP artists that I could trust with, like, making model stuff, you know? Sure what I can do. But Hope I will say, well the, J the JP artists, support. I can't skip the TTS, I'm sorry. I can't, I had, I closed my browser because I was like, maybe that'll help with, like, the weird, the weird chugging. But, uh, yeah, no, I can't find JP artists, and if someone in chat said Skeb, I wish you to pay me reparations right fucking now. Skeb is disgusting. If you, if you are a VTuber and you're paying for artwork that you're not going to be using commercially, you're basically burning money here. Don't use Skeb. Skeb is dog shit. I hated Skeb before I used it. I used it once because there was an artist I really wanted artwork from that opened up their commissions on Skeb. And you know what? I didn't get the files that I fucking asked for. And because of Skeb's little rule set where you can't contact the artist after they finish your work or at any point while they're working on your work, I was like, see, I told you, Skeb is fucking dog shit. Why would anyone use this? If there's a Japanese artist that works on Skeb, I hope they have like their Twitter DMs open or they have a work email because I refuse re-fucking-fuse to use Skeb. I would rather DM them, I would rather use DeepL and try to communicate with them through a language barrier than ever go through fucking Skeb. VGen seems pretty good. Yeah, I would trust VGen because you can actually communicate with the artist. VGen allows you artist communication, which is why it's superior to, to fucking Skeb. VGen's full of Western art. Yeah, you're, you're probably not gonna find a, a Japanese artist on, on VGen. Vijan, <laughs> you still don't understand Skeb. Skeb is just Findom. Yeah, basically. Skeb, Skeb is like if you've made it to a point where you have more money than you know what to do with and you don't really care what you get, so you just throw your money into a gotcha machine and maybe you get art, maybe you don't, who knows? Since Gumroad went redacted, artists should consider opening a fansly. You get your commissions oh, only on DeviantArt. Oh, oh, I found it. Oh, I found it. Oh, man. Ask Polt for translation help? I mean, I don't want to bother a dude every time I want to commission a Japanese artist. But also, I'd have to find them. Ever, ever, to, be, to be completely transparent, every Japanese artist that I've worked with outside of Skeb has been absolutely phenomenal. Like, li literally, the best artist experiences I have had are through JP artists, not through Skeb. They, they, they have work ethic, they have nice art styles, they are wonderful people. You're always available for basic translation. Call it a personality, thank you for the 999. There's some occupations, artists, journos, localizers, who spend infinitely more time telling you how important their job is, instead of, you know, actually doing their job. And, it, and it, it's, it's similar, right? A lot of VTubers start VTubing and they, they sort of understand the entertainment aspect, but they don't understand the business aspect. And there's a lot of artists that are that way as well. They understand the art, they're good at the art, but they have literally zero fucking business sense, which is how they end up getting tons of upset customers. Have I tried ArtStation? I've never seen anywhere on ArtStation where I can, like, commission someone. It's just, like, a platform to look at their previous works. Japan treats artwork as an occupation in the West. It's not. It could be, and it should be, but the people, the people who you commission from need to actually treat it that way. For some reason, stream elements won't take your money! That's weird. When you exchange money with someone, you can't treat them like a person. It's a business transaction. 
and you need to treat them like a business. You may have an avenue to pursue for damages even without a contract if that's your current situation. Not a lawyer, obviously. Uh, probably not, but that's that's why I'm getting it put in a contract. And it's like, similar similar to me telling all VTubers, you should have a copyright contract if you're going to take VTubing more seriously than just a hobby. Um, you... I don't know if you need to go as far as I am going to, because, like, I have just had four years of shit experience with artists. But, like... You, you know, I forgot where I was going with the sentence. I completely forgot where I was going. <laughs> so Kimi chan would do great work? Probably. Probably. I don't think they take commissions, though. <laughs> Sorry, I can't make models. The best you can do is rat fink-eyed sketches. What the heck? <laughs> Mr. Fink? Tell your client straight up, if they hire you, they may have to wait literal months. Really got to put it out there. So far, they've agreed and seem fine with it, so it's been Gucci. If if they tell me up front, like, hey, I, I can't I can't do your commission until like May. Are you okay with that? I'd be like, yeah, that's fine. Oh, that's fine. We'll we'll start we'll start the ticking time bomb in May when you deliver the sketch to me, right? Like I I get that, and that's why also in the contract I would want to put like a thirty day buffer. Like if you're if something happens right and you have to deal with real life shit, I'm not gonna put someone on the hook immediately. I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a thirty day buffer to like deal with your shit and then deliver what I've paid for. Because if you don't, then you're going to start paying me <laughs> reparations now, dude. Hope the stream and chat helps to brighten your spirits. Keish love. That said, I was a bit lost between the rage and the stream dropping at random. Is this about the 2D model or something else? Understand if you can't answer less than three. I cannot. I cannot. I can, I can talk more about it probably in about a week, but I can't talk about it now. The aggravating part is that many artists are basically V-tweeters who are a thousand percent more active making fan art flavor of the month and working on your commission. And I, I think the most frustrating thing, the most, like, the most frustrating thing is that, like, when, when you are months and months behind finishing a commission, maybe don't open new commissions until you finish what you're already behind on. And this seems like a completely fucking foreign concept to like 99% of artists. But like, if you already have failed to deliver and meet a deadline, do not take on more commissions until you finish. I, I, I do not understand. And oh Lord, oh Lord, there's this one, there's this one artist who is like the most menhera thing I've ever encountered. And I, they are more menhera than like a V, imagine a VTuber that's been VTubing for like 20 years. Just how much brain damage has accumulated in that period of time, all right? This artist has more, more menhera than that. They were supposed to deliver my full illustration in February. It's, uh, it's now almost April. And I haven't gotten it, and they only give me updates when I email them. And it's like, please, paying you was already a pain in the ass. I, I, paying you was a pain in the ass because I couldn't pay you normally because you took some weird form of payment that my credit card wouldn't let me pay through. It didn't take PayPal. I signed up for Wise to try and fucking pay you and it didn't work. So finally, I had to go through one of their friends and send payment through PayPal to their friend. And after I sent the payment, their friend was like, Oh, I must have miscalculated the PayPal fees. You're you're one dollar and thirty cents short. And I was like, Are you fucking kidding me? So I sent them another five dollars and I was like, is that fine? Are we good? Do you have the money to make up for the fucking fees now? Almost a thousand percent of scam. Nice call. There is there is a point in time where this artist was like suicide baiting on Twitter, and I couldn't even feel bad. I was just like, please don't kill yourself. I want my artwork finished. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no, they need another hundred dollars for fees next. I'm so fucking tired, chat. I don't I don't talk about the majority of my artist issues on stream because I'm like, oh, that's probably that's probably unprofessional to like throw people under the bus, but I am tired! Not only am I gonna throw you under the bus, I'm gonna be the one fucking driving it! What's the time in the US? It's 3.33 right now. It's uh, Pippa's age o'clock. 
finish the art first. Oh my god, like, I am I am so fed up, chat. <sighs> The truth is that living on commissions is financially, or I think you meant isn't financially viable, but also not true, dep depending on your size. The artist was on a bridge, goddamn. Sorry, just an extra 350, please. If only you could get AI art to be rigged for VTubing. I, I like, I don't want to, I don't want to abandon my stance of, I don't want to make money off of AI art. I want to pay real artists to make artwork that I can then use. But they make it so fucking hard to maintain that standard. They make it so hard for me to not just be like, yeah, let's fuck it. Let's go do AI shit instead. <laughs> the AI art for VTubing models is very close for sure. Why bother if they don't do the job? That's what I'm saying, dude. That's what I'm saying. Foxu about to take the artist black pill. I don't want the suppository, but they keep forcing it down my throat, man. This is why AI is getting more popular. It don't get a deal with the BS. Yeah. <laughs> Someone who's working on a streaming setup and wants to get a VTuber model at some point. This is very concerning to hear. You, you will not hear many VTubers talk about, like, just the absolute shit cunt state of artists in the VTuber sphere. Because typically when you, when you talk out about it, artists are going to clip you out of context and be like, oh, don't work with this VTuber. They hate artists. They, they don't understand that artists make them who they are and you can't be mean to artists. It's like, well, if artists respected my fucking time, maybe I would respect them. Don't worry, queen. I'll make your AI art commissions for free. September 2023 deadline. Let's go. Oh my God. You want someone to rig your next model for you because you're tired of making all your own shit and you're scared. Unfortunately, you should be. Like, unless unless you have the money to fork out for, like, Iron Vortex, like, you are taking a risk. You, like, it's scary out there. And, like, I, I feel bad. I feel bad for my rigger as well. My rigger's been wonderful. <laughs> my rigger's been wonderful. You don't. I don't think I could even afford Iron Vortex, dude. <laughs> As an artist, we do not make you who you are. You could talk to us as a bowling ball and you'd still be you. <laughs> Daniel Sierra, thank you for the 199. As a career artist, this blows your mind. Yeah. Yeah, that's all I've heard from like actual industry artists that I've spoken to. They're just like, holy shit, your artists take how long? And you let them get away with that? What the fuck? Or like the guy that ended up dropping off the face of the earth who was, who was going to work on my 3D model like two years ago. He was, he was just like, the person who was doing your model, who drug you around and yanked your chain for two fucking years, literally only did 15 minutes of work on your 3D model. Jump in a call with me and I'll show you. And he literally recreated what she did in under 15 minutes. I was so fucking mad. Ah! It's because most Twitter artists are just kids who draw well, not professionals. Western artist narcissism is the worst. It is crazy. It is crazy. Currently trying to ask a VTuber you know who's an artist by trade if she can keep a deadline for a commission. She currently works for an indie game company as a UI designer, but unfortunately the company is sinking, not her fault. So she's working a lot of overtime to save it. So commissions are probably on hold for now. I mean, probably. She, she shouldn't take them if she's inundated with work at the moment. The stream right now, unprofessional Twitter hobby artists scamming people. <sighs> Sergeant Bug, thank you for the ten dollars. With how inconsistent your day job schedule is, you refuse to take payment on your three D renders until it's done. Can't take the money and run if I never get any in the first place. I've I've had artists who operate on that mentality, and the artists who are just like, oh, just to make sure I get it done, I won't take payment until I finish it. And then they keep missing the deadline and they keep missing the deadline and then they just don't want to work on it anymore because they're like, oh, well, I don't have the money now. So, like, it doesn't matter. It's not real at the moment. And maybe I just don't feel inspired to work on this. And it's just like, I want to pay you. Please just finish the fucking thing. Please, please, I beg. Master Gullah, thank you for the $5. I'm sorry, boss. Of whatever it's worth, you give me a real hug. You two know the pain of not being able to have works created. My, my, my gay moderator, Mr. Tange Bean. Every time, every time he DMs me to check up on me and ask how I'm doing, he's just like, you need, you need someone who can give you a hug in real life. <laughs> I 
Is this why artists are starving? Because they don't do the job? Yeah, pretty fucking much. Maybe you wouldn't be starving if you actually did your job. You'd like to apologize on behalf of all artists. <laughs> Is there a sex doll type thing just for hugs? I know in Washington you could hire someone to cuddle you. I don't think I've reached that level of destitution yet, though. Self-imposed starvation. It shouldn't be this hard. You're sorry. It just makes me feel bad, because, like... Not only does it put me behind on doing things, but I'm, I'm sick of doing, like, the soon TM bullshit. I'm sick, I'm sick of, like, feeling like I'm letting my audience down as well. And I know you guys don't care what I'm talking from. I don't even need, like, a model on screen, but... I'm still sick of just saying soon and it never happening and it causing issues. <laughs> Nim. 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 Yeah! Shut up! Silly woman. He was the Kiwi Farms Whisperer! Don't give me slaves right now. Don't. <laughs> I'm, trying, I'm trying to not be a crying lady. Oh, God. Uh. Slaves would be an improvement. <laughs> True. True and real. True and fucking real. <sighs> was saving it for Legos, but sounds like you need it a hell of a lot more than me. I know it probably isn't even a one twentieth of what you've spent, but I hope it helps. Le you never Legos. disappoint, and deserve all the support and love. Less Legos. than three stay strong, Miss Keish. She's worth You deserve the slaves. <laughs> Please don't cry. I don't want to mod it yet either. I'm gonna put it pig. Once more before I have to go to work. Head pat the foxu. Love on the foxu. You are not responsible for dead ass bum artists. Keish love. Oh, the butter dog does make the feel good. That's a nice song. We can wait here. It's not your fault. Uh, uh. Sorry. Sorry for all the ranting, but goddamn dude. Goddamn dude. I just felt terrible all day. <laughs> Time to become VTuber maker, get the job. <laughs> I'm just like, if you if you want if you wanna enter if you wanna enter doing stuff in this sphere, just like please please honor your deadlines. If anyone who's been watching longer than five minutes thinks you're lazy, they're blind, deaf, and very dumb. Oh man. Oh, Hopefully Butter Dog works. Spicy love, cat love about raid. Dog. Was a spicy <laughs> cat raid. Uh, 
You're not afraid of an artist telling you it'll be six months, but don't tell me three and then not finish until two years. Yeah, pretty much. Like, I, I don't care. I don't, if an artist is like, oh, that'll take me six months to finish because that's a big project. Or like, oh, that'll take me 10 months to finish because it's a big project. I'm like, okay, I have a deadline. You have the time. I'm okay with that. That's perfectly fine. I don't mind waiting if that is literally what you tell me is, is the trajectory. But don't tell me it'll take you like three months and then you don't deliver it for years. Like, please. <laughs> Titan, thank you, thank you for the raid. You came in the middle of a sad rant, I'm sorry. You shouldn't have to use escrow or a bunch of legal bullshit. People should be normal and honor their obligations. It's infuriating that they can't. It it is, and I, I don't I don't talk about a lot of it on stream, so a lot a lot of people are probably just like, I didn't know it was so bad. And it's like, well yeah, because I, I don't I don't want to drag people through the mud. I don't want to make like call out posts on like Twitter and shit. But it's like I fuck. I am tired. <laughs> At your house! Or in the ring. No, in real life! I'm going to stalk him and become a You gotta tell him six, get it done in three to impress him. True. And use his skin as a coat, like the ancient Irish did. Well, that's. How to speak to a delinquent artist. In Minecraft, of course. Yeah, just send in the candy man. Simple, perfect. But I want a free live 2D chibi model. You could try to do that for me. It isn't too much effort. I again. That's why. That's why I can't like just spill all the details right now. Cause I, I have, I have someone who's been, who's been helping me with something else track. specifically. But if I, if I talk about it, I will spoil the surprise. Cause it's actually happening. It's not delayed. It's actually, it's actually happening. Don't you dare be upset thinking you let your fans down. We fully understand. This is in no way your fault. At most. Nay, men shame the artists at fault. Much love from the Yukon. I also, I also don't think I want to take what time free work either. Cause like, if I agree to something that's free, then I feel like I can't, I can't ask for like changes if they if they make a mistake or something, you know? Cause it's like, well, they're doing it for free, so I prefer I prefer to pay. It's extra irritating for art. It's not like they're waiting two months for a ba back order part needed to build the project or waiting on a subcontractor to finish their part. Yeah. We're reading about the possible homeless cannibal in California. Help. <laughs> oh, God. And commissioned an artist friend once to help them out because they desperately needed money, but they kept slacking off and they didn't finish it till a year later. I also learned the hard way. Never, never uh, commission friends. <laughs> What about AI free? Well, AI free shit would work, yeah. Yeah, I'd be okay with that. Free is risky. Make sure you have things under a contract and keep the IP rights. That too. That too. <sighs> Receipts with timelines are a fine thing to shame people on when they are late on paid work. Yeah. I had to do... I had to do my first, like chargeback on twitter ever <laughs> i guess it, the chargeback was on paypal but it was with a twitter artist they were they they were someone who was making like little uh pixel models it might look bad if you have to have this rant about how much you hate those and can't trust any of them and how we need to completely replace them <laughs> wait what wait what Popping the chargeback cherry. Yeah, I've I've never had to charge back on an artist that I've commissioned before. Like literally ever. Thankfully. <clears throat> oh, what the fuck? What vagabond hillbilly? Are you okay? Did you did you accidentally add a zero there, dude? Thank you for the fifty gift memberships. What the fuck? What what the what the holy shit? Thank you, holy hillbilly. He has commenced the jingling and the jiggling. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Vagabond Hillbilly, Jesus Christ. Based and gift pilled? Absolutely. Damn, I got a butter dog. <laughs> based, based YouTube Giga Chad. You'll draft a free AI bullshit contract. I get art, you get slave. It all, hold on, wait a minute. Wh what do you get? Azehara <laughs> grooming a four view via contract? That's the real strategy. Why groom a two view when you can just contract a four view into slavery? 
Good thing you're not divulging the artist's name. Your Portuguese ancestral blood wants to build a ship. Oh my god. That man works construction. <laughs> there was a there was an artist that I ordered a pixel model from. Oh god, I can't even remember when I ordered it at this point. I think it was like April last year, and they were like, they were like, I'll have it, I'll have it finished by by like July or something. And I was like, okay, that's fine. That seems a reasonable amount of time to make a pixel model. And I, I even like went through all the details with them, and like I misunderstood something in their post as well. I was like, oh, here are the expressions I want. And they were like, oh, no, you misunderstand. It comes with preset expressions. You can't you can't make new ones. And I was like, oh, OK, that's fine. I'm sorry. I misunderstood. I like July comes and goes. You know, I was I was in the donathon. I, me I messaged them. But pixels are just cubes. They are. They are. I need the art slaves and the art mines. <laughs> this is your song. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for denting my head with large gold blocks. <laughs> slaves, quick, get that fox your handkerchief. I've never owned a handkerchief. I bet they'd be really cute if I could get like a blue polka dot one with like lacy edges. Oh, I'd be like, I'd be like an old lady. How cute. How cute. From your art friends, always keep your receipts. Art transactions are not to be done between friends. They're clientele. Services must be rendered for the payment. Keep in touch. And if shit goes sour with the piece, any choice the client has, compromise whatever with whatever they can. Better than fucking over the client. Yeah, that's that's why like I, I never like the thought of doing chargebacks. But like, man, you should you not all learn to, learn to VTube model, either live 2D or 3D. You already know how to make 3D Blender. You're in the same jobs like the latino i am please please steal some jobs please we need we need more reliable model artists uh, 3d and 2d and it, it is the the market desperately needs them which is why i was really excited when uh, when the model industry the, the guy who made 3d models in the uh in the industry was just like hey yeah i i'll uh, I'll, I'll work on your model and i was like oh my god yay industry guy that means he'll be reliable right and then he disappeared. <laughs> and then he disappeared. But the pixel, the pixel model story that I was telling. Um, so they like July came and went. They didn't. They didn't give like anything. I kept asking pet. them for updates. And every time, well, every time I asked them, like, hey, hey, you know, it's been a while. Uh, do, do you have an update for me? For and they would be like, oh no, Love sorry, I don't. And at one point, they were just like, oh, I'm doing your artwork right now. I can show you the draft tomorrow. And I was like, oh, okay, that works. Thank you. Uh, and then I'm busy, so I can't chase them literally daily. So like two weeks later, I contact them again, and I was like, "Hey, hey, you said you were gonna give me the draft, and uh, that never showed up. Do you have a draft for me?" And they were like, "Oh no, I couldn't, I couldn't get to the draft. So uh, I'll be, I'll be doing that at the end of this month." And I was like, "Oh, okay." Uh, and that, that kept kind of going in a cycle, and then I was like, "Look, lady, I do not feel comfortable at this point anymore with working with you because you, you've told me that you're working on the draft multiple times. You've never delivered." any proof that you're actually working on it. Uh, so I'm gonna have to tell you, if you can't deliver proof of something, uh, my name isn't even on your Trello board, which also makes me really suspicious. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a charge bag if you can't produce anything like in the next 24 hours. And they were just like, um, do you understand what wait list means? Like I put you on my wait list. That means you're waiting. You're not getting your artwork right now. And I was like, okay, but like you told me I was multiple times. And also when I commissioned you, you didn't tell me I was being put on a wait list. So what did you mean by this? And so they never responded to me. And so I did the charge back, like, you know, a couple of weeks later. They never responded. Like when you do a PayPal charge back, PayPal's like, okay, we'll get the response from this person. They never responded to PayPal. So PayPal was just like, okay, here's your money back. And I was like, thank God. Thank God I got my money back. But then I thought I was done with this artist. But apparently this artist has also been taking advantage of like other people. So this artist was just like, please, it's not a good idea to pile on all of the negativity 
right now uh the owner of this account has actually made an attempt on her life and you don't want to be responsible for her actually going through with it do you this is her this is her boyfriend who's going to be communicating on her behalf from this point forward and i promise i will get all of you your artwork and i was like you know i can't even feel bad because i feel like they're just lying at this point that's not her boyfriend she didn't try to take her life she just doesn't want upset people doing more chargebacks <laughs> Sure, her boyfriend, yeah. The suicider is responsible. Never you, don't bait. Damn, she sounds like a broke bitch. I don't... I, I, like, I don't remember this person's name off the top of my head either, but they are absolutely someone I would bring up on stream and be like, do not commission this person. Be her 13th reason why. Her boyfriend, who is also on the way... <laughs> She clearly took on more work than she can handle. Yeah, that's so gross to do. Yeah. Yeah, like <laughs> people people like making fun of VTubers with the with the tummy hort. It's the pixel artist, right? You can bring Yeah, it's the pixel. It's the pixel model artist. Here, check your DMs. Wait, does Nim have the link on hand? There ain't no way. There ain't no way. Nim Nim First of all, you're slow to the pickup. Second of all, you don't read mod chat. Get this out of my DMs. <laughs> my imaginary boyfriend is real for me. How the hell could he guarantee you get your art? Nim. Is he gonna Nim. do it himself? Nim. I know, right? <laughs> boo, Nim, boo! Ziz out autist by Nim? No. No, Nim autisted himself. <laughs> so many menhera artists god i was just like people make fun of vtubers for like the tummy hort thing where they'll they'll just like not do stuff that they promise because mm, tummy hort artists are like a million times worse than that dude <laughs> art artists will straight up just jump to i'm going to kill myself if you charge back just hit him with the old 4chan response to the fake suicide pics or it didn't happen she self-identified as her own boyfriend. Little did I know she was Anita Sarkeesian the whole time. The boyfriend sends stick figure with foxy hair. God, I love slaves. slaves. Get out of here, Windows Defender. Thank you. Thank you. Slaves. This is your song, thank you. Fight you slaves. Fight you slaves. Thank you, Panda Milk. Yeah, please do your part to reduce excess carbon and charge back on those artists. So cute. So cute. So squish. Let me, uh, let me, uh, browser. Let me, uh, let me, uh, browser. Where's my browser? I can't even find my own tabs, dude. Oh, uh, the pixel artist I was talking about. It's a uh, Mau Mousy. I guess their name is Yuki? Question mark. I was like, cute Jeez, little bouncy Sally, pixel your model. Lets you have two cars? And I was like, hey, yo, if I'm if I'm in like you know regular model limbo, maybe I can maybe I can get like a little pixel model. Maybe I can have like a little doop de doo little pixel thing, I'm dooting around the screen. And uh, unfortunately. <laughs> Hi, here's Yuki's boyfriend. I'm here to explain what happened in the past days. A few days ago, Yuki deleted this and other adjacent accounts before trying to commit against her own life. She is currently mentally and physically recovering from this and she'll stop doing new commissions from now on. For those who have commissions with us, I'll be working with some friends to have them finished or refunded, but it'll take time. We barely have any money to pay our bills, so Sorry refunds will be slow. Please be patient and respectful. I'll be working to reinstate all deleted accounts as I can, and I'll speak to anyone who has any questions in DMs. I understand everyone that is angry at the situation, but blowing your anger out on me or anyone else won't help to quicken things. It'll only make everyone's life more miserable than it already is. No one needs that. Thank you to everyone who is being kind and patient. You are the angels of the world. <laughs> This reads like a fake excuse note a child would do to explain to their teacher how their dog ate their homework. Signed by mom! Yeah. Yeah. Update on the waitlist problem. I tried recovering the <gasps> board and searching up, about it, but it seems it's unrecoverable. Like if someone knows how to solve this problem, one. please DM me. For the time being, I'll try working like on this. what I have. AI gains another thousand supporters. Look at the dirty doggy! 
Yeah. Ziz, correct me if I'm wrong. Didn't didn't I archive her Trello back when I was trying to do a chargeback because I was worried about her deleting it during the chargeback process? If they actually needed money, they would make their clients a priority. Yeah. The the artist that I am struggling to get a completed artwork from that I had a hell of a time paying, even though they are missing every deadline and they don't communicate unless I talk to them first, at least when I talk to them, they give me updates. <laughs> we stole your money, but don't bother us about it and wait until after the chargeback period, please. More text on the artist blog. Yeah, great deal. If you do have it archived, I should send it to them. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I archived it in like either January or December and I, I submitted the charge back in January and then it didn't complete until sometime in f like late February. This makes your corpo flare up. Used to work with an artist that did decent work back when you were working on a game and suddenly she stopped producing but kept asking for money and it just kept getting more insane. I, I like I genuinely do not understand. Like I know I'm not the only VTuber with real like work ethic here. So, like, how is it so hard to find artists that have it? You've only ever seen the dog ate the homework once and it was the teacher's dog eating it? That's funny. That's funny. That's like, while I was on the Donathon, when I couldn't respond to people who were waiting on me to, like, check art or check, like, the music with Patet, I felt really bad that I couldn't answer them quickly. And then there's, like, there's a, there's a model artist that I'm working with right now as well. He has been so fucking wonderful. I'm gonna chill the fuck out of this man. When, when we get the model finished, because all of the model delays with this one dude have been on my end. Like, I I have been doing so much that, like, I just, I can't, I can't dedicate the time to model testing that I need to, like, when, when he, when he asks me to. And it makes me feel bad, and I'm like, I want to pay this guy even more when he finally finishes it, because all of the delays have been my fault. Like, it makes me feel bad when I am the person who is causing the delays. I said I archived it, but I didn't give it to you. What archive sites do I use again? It's not the one you use. Uh, it was probably just on Archive IS or Ghost Archive. Those are the two I usually use. You're going to kill Twitch, Twitch, and AMDs. They do not mix. What the heck? So what's my view on using AI to make original artworks in relation to music? I don't really have one, I guess. The music industry is incredibly uh, weird, I guess. Like, uh, you have to have a specific copyright contract when it comes to music that is more encompassing than an artist copyright contract. I, j I do not understand how music works, man, so. You'd say it's more an issue with contracting people on the internet in general. A lot of people lack work ethic and responsibility. It's crazy. It's crazy. And that's why, that's why I dislike the people who are just like, just don't take anything on the internet seriously. None of it's real, you know? And it's like, well, no. There are certain things on the internet you shouldn't take seriously, for goddamn sure, but not everything on the internet. <clears throat> there, I ruined it. It's a pretty cool thing. What? The suffering artist alibi. Yeah. The hell is with the white fox VTubers and being workaholics? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it ha Maybe you could ask that museum. <laughs> Ah, uh, delicious gamer subs. <laughs> when you have a subreddit dedicated to wanting to be meats, are anti-work, you knew it would be hard to trust people on the internet. True. True and real. Oh, Ziz, did you pull up the uh, the archive here? Did you find my archive of her Trello? How is cyberbullying real? Rigging a VTuber avatar is basically setting up a Laura file for AI. I have, I have not had a single issue with any any riggers that I have worked with. Rig, rigger, riggers seem to have actual work ethic. Love love riggers, man. I am I am pro rigger and pro rigger work ethic. <laughs> All you ever do is work and work and work. Send help, please. That's uh, that's why I am very happy. I'm getting I'm getting a few other artworks knocked out because I wanted to. This isn't loading anymore. Does this load for you, Ziz? Is this loading for you? It's not loading for me. I can't say that. That's your word. Oh my god. I can say that. I'm a VTuber. It's our word. <laughs> the more effort needed, the more of a work ethics would be gained. She can say rigor, but not... No, that man's name scares the fuck out of me, dude. I gotta go for now. Have fun. Have a good evening, Councilman Zach. 
Well, send me some info from friends who fix up VTuber models. You don't know any in particular style I might be looking for. I mean, at, at this point, when, when I first wanted to look into getting a model, I contacted, oh God, I think his name is like Ham or something. He does, he does uh, 2D art for Hololive models. Like maybe if I find his Twitter again, cause I can just look for him in my email since I sent him an email. Maybe if I find his Twitter again, I can either commission him or find somebody else in like the JP sphere. Cause when I was originally looking for models, I was not making diddly squat from streaming. I was getting like maybe, maybe like a hundred bucks a month, dude. Like I was, I was poor as fuck. <laughs> And he quoted me, you know, like $4,000 for the artwork. And I was like, yeah, I can't afford that shit. <laughs> and it's like, I would, I would love to like, I don't know, just get someone like who Shy Lily has, but I also don't have $15,000 for a model. So not a bad idea. JP artist might be the way to go. That's, that's kind of what I want to do. Like I would, I would love to just find a JP artist that I could work with because I've had nothing but good experiences with JP mm, artists. Knock on wood, please don't ruin that for me. <laughs> Have I checked with Ja? Her, her commissions are like money. never open, you so no. With my money and I guarantee you will not redact it. Not redact. Time for another donathon. <gasps> See how much a Pippa's marmot cost her? <laughs> oh man. Holy, that expensive? Uh, VTuber models, when you get it from, like, big name artists, yes, they are very expensive. And, like, for someone like Shy Lily, how responsive and how fluid her model is, I can understand why it's so expensive as well. What the fuck are these prices? When you, when you get to less experienced artists and they're charging you, like, $1,500, count it $1,500 for an edited V-Roid, uh, that is a scam. Do not pay that artist. <laughs> VTuber models are the new full body fursuit. Do y'all make in bank? Wonder how much how many man hours go into those things? A lot. It, it's it's a lot of man hours. But that's why that's why they also probably try to like, you know, do ten plus hour days working on those models so that they can get them out and then go to a different one instead of dragging it out for years. I got a not loading click here. I didn't even see that. <laughs> I didn't even see that. I didn't even see that. Thank you. Found a good Indonesian artist on Etsy who made your emotes and you plan to get more stuff from them, but you need to try and find an artist who will balance a budget with quality. I, uh, the, the emote artist, Nova, who, who does my emotes, she's been doing my reference sheets. Uh, she even, she has carpal tunnel. And even with carpal tunnel, she is the most reliable artist I have ever encountered. I will give this woman money until I die because she is so reliable. <gasps> You're about to flood spam so I could see your mess. I don't know how I saw it on fucking YouTube. You're more noticeable on Twitch. Industry is going the same as medical supplies and insurance. Only the true autists need to be VTubers. <laughs> based Nova. Mega based Nova. She did uh You're welcome. Yeah, she's Nim's friend. She came recommended by Nim. So thank you, Nim. Thank you, Nimothy. She did, uh, she did the Leah and me eating a gingerbread man dissected on the table artwork. Uh, she's done my, my Twitch, uh, partner artwork. Nim. She's done, she's done Nim. a lot for me. Nim. She's done a lot. Yeah. Have I seen them calling for the gamer purge? Yeah, that was, that was on the docket today. But I couldn't, I couldn't hold in my seething at artists, so I, I had to rant on that. The only reason you're not the most unreliable artist is because you never get paid. Your artist gave you a four month wait. One week before that month was done, she contacted you to start yours all through Fiverr, so no chance of getting scammed. Gave her a 20% tip. Uh, a lot of art on Fiverr is either no like, Never lucky. I don't trust it. I'm just going to say that. I do, I do not trust uh, going through Fiverr for, for artists. <sighs> Did I hear about the bridge collapse? Yeah, I posted it in my Discord like an hour uh, after it happened. She was so mad about the artist. She crashed a boat into a bridge. Hey, yo, I'm not Singaporean. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not Singaporean. But this is all. This is all the Trello sheet that I had archived. So like, they had they had a wait list here. They had a wait list here of like a whole bunch of. I don't even know who these people are. I hope half of these aren't even real people, right? Like, I would hate to see this many people having gotten scammed. Next to be made. 
and it's like this huge list. Thankfully, most of it's like emotes. There's pixel models here. Uh, it's all pixel models and emotes, it looks like, from when I archived it. And she's got another list of ones that she's in the middle of sketching. Like, how do you how do you do this many simultaneously? I guess you don't, and that's why it's a scam. Line art. You got, you got all these people in the line art stage. You got all these people in the coloring stage. All of these people in the animation stage. They got chibi models here. Pixel model. More emotes. Just a regular VTuber model, I guess, they were doing. Uh, weird. And then, like, their completed list... Their, their completed list, I guess. There are people who actually got stuff delivered. Did they? I don't know. And, like, part part of me wanted to reach out to some of the people on this list and just be like, hey, uh, have you actually gotten something from this artist? This is a scam. Yeah, this is this is a scammer. This, this is the scammer that I requested a charge back from that is now suicide baiting on Twitter. There's no way, bro. Like, because I'm an anxious puddle of mess, you know, like everybody everybody likes to think of me as a strong, independent whammon because of how I rant and talk like a lesbian biker. Uh, but no, I am an anxious puddle of mess, dude. And uh, I, I never reached out to any of the people on this list, but I hope if there are people on this list who are waiting for their shit from this artist, you will not get it. You, you will not get anything from them. This is a scam. They are scamming you. They are trying to keep your money. Please charge back. Please, please charge back. This is this is the artist in question. It should be a red flag as well to see that many commissions. The artist is open at the same time. Unfortunately, Cookie, that's not a red flag because that's how a lot of artists' trellos look like when you're looking at VTuber artists. Like, it should be a red flag, right? But that is just normal here, unfortunately. So it didn't set <gasps> off red flags in my brain because I was like, oh yeah, that's like just what artists balloon. look like here. I want to read that one. Bridges brought down. Ish, wait. Not like that. <laughs> wait, Singapore, that's not the bridge I meant to take down! <laughs> Why am I following them? Because they were, uh, they were the person that I commissioned. I guess I could unfollow them now. I didn't think about that, but... When I was posting about them at one point in Discord, they went under protected status, and when an account is protected, you can't read their tweets. They're not protected here. But it's 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 good business sense to follow people who are trying to fuck you over, because if they go protected, you're already following them, so you can still read their tweets. Nice, you're caught up now. Welcome. How often do they update the board? Probably never, if I had to guess. Pro probably never. But uh, before her quote unquote boyfriend made that tweet, sorry for taking so long. My internet provider decided to start maintenance. I'll be updating this better in the future. Just know that you were not scammed. DM me and we can work everything out. Yeah, I just don't believe you. Yeah, I just don't believe you. Add them to a danger list. <laughs> Update. I got in contact with Yuki's boyfriend. Please DM them if you commissioned them in the past and maybe you can work something out. I just don't believe you were talking to the boyfriend, man. Okay, this is going to be a weird post, but I'm looking for VTubers or people who commissioned this artist who went by Mousy. They did emote art, rigging, and chibi models, and pixel art. Any help finding this person would be appreciated. Hashtag VTuber Uprising? They're known for doing a lot of YCH emotes as well. If anyone knows any info, please reach out, and if you're someone who commissioned this person, please let me know as well. I'm confused as to what happened. I didn't see this before. I have a commission from them. I did get my stuff. They did take a while to deliver, but I never expected they would delete all socials. I'm finding proof they had at least a hundred ongoing commissions. Oh lord, I could manage to take screenshots of the DMs, but don't come up. If you need anything, please let me know. Oh, I guess if they delete their account, all your DMs go poof. Thankfully, I've already archived all of my DMs with this person. I paid up front for a pixel model as a gift. It was a three-month project, and now it's been eight months, so I don't know. I'm trying super hard to be patient, but there's been little to no updates on any work being done since September 2023. You know... <laughs> Chubas rise up. Why would you take on more? You already have 100 plus. I, I feel like it is my duty to respond to these people. I just, like... I, I do, should I should I make a response? Like I don't know. I don't like. <laughs> God damn! I don't want people getting scammed, but I also don't want to cause any issues. Chubas are getting scammed. Yes, I guess I guess I go. I I guess I uh, go. I gotta open my browser, my other browser, my real browser. What can I what can I close here? I don't I don't. Maybe I don't need to close anything. Maybe since it's refresh, we'll be fine. 
Let me know if the stream goes down. <laughs> Why are so many artists scamming? Good fucking question! You think it's safe to call it a scam? Yeah. I'm gonna protect others from these scummy artists. Uh, Ziz, Jamie, can you pull that up? Can you drop me a link of where I posted all of the archived screenshots? I can't remember if it was in your DMs or in mod chat. But, uh, I would- I would like those. I would like those so I can, uh, I can post it. What are the chances artists scams you due to your politics? Uh, I work with plenty of artists that do not share literally any political opinions of mine. A professional artist will not care what your political affiliation is. They will just take your money and do the work. I'm like, even- even if you are an artist who genuinely hates the political I have, why would you not want to take thousands of dollars from me? Let's be real. <laughs> F. Yeah. Big F. Big F unlucky. Big F unlucky. Well, fuck. Well, fuck. God damn it, Twitch. No, I think it's not Twitch. I think it's me. I think it's I think it's me. I think it's me and not Twitch. I think it's me and not I even called it. I was like, I don't know, maybe I'm gonna go down again. <laughs> they almost got her. <sighs> Trying to silence our girl, dude. Close I'm sorry. I'm sorry for all the tech path, issues today. I'm sorry for all the tech issues today. Oh my god. Twitter DM nonsense. <laughs> the Rothschild's got her. <gasps> Thank you, Ziz. I see you popping up over here. Starts here day one, day two. Thank you. Thank you. It's not you, or it's you, not Twitch. Yeah, this this time it's me. It's not Twitch's fault this time. It's not Twitch's fault. I don't think I can make this reply. I'll have to do the. I'll have to do this later. I'll have to do this after stream. I literally cannot do it while I'm on stream right now. Tell the neighbors to stop eating the bandwidth. Yeah. Hopefully it doesn't dead, right? Here, I'm gonna I'm gonna post this to Ziz and then I'll I'll respond to it later. I'll I'll respond later, because it this isn't my real account that I that I look at stuff on in my stream browser. What is in your browser that it's killing the stream? Um, I haven't been able to get help putting the new RAM in my PC since it showed up. And it's been weeks since I've had it. Uh, but I'm still working on my basically dead RAM. So, here, just use your phone. No, I hate typing on my phone. There's so many typos. Shut down your torrents. I don't torrent. I don't torrent. You picked the worst time to super. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wait, you can type on your phone with all your nails? Yeah, but like you can hear it when I type because it's like... Have I tried closing some Chrome tabs? I can't. I need them. I need those Chrome tabs. But I posted this uh, DM link to, to Ziz so I can, I can respond to it later. I can respond to it later. What... What made, what made me was like goblins, huggies, like a cute hand snuggle. This is- this is apparently somebody who, like, actually got something from this artist. Which is, like, amazing to me. And Kirsha wants to get rammed. What the heck? Mustachio! Thank you for the five. Quick question. Will the cube plush be coming back in stock, or do I plan on any other plushes in the future? I don't know if it'll come back in stock. I know Umu Market has done reruns for, like, Numi's plushes, and I think there was another plush they did a rerun of. I don't Close know- the fucking tabs, I don't know if mine tabs. will have any rerun. There are more plushes I want to do. Maybe, I'm maybe, also maybe, trying- maybe, I'm also either. trying to set up merchandising <laughs> on my own, but it's it proving it very, very it's difficult. probably because of the latest OBS update. It's been happening to my streamer friend the last few days. Oh no, I hope not. I hope not. <laughs> Let's get Kirsha to install the RAM herself. I would need literal hand-holding, dude. I would need literal fucking hand-holding. Uh... What was I talking about before that? I was in the middle of saying something and then I got distracted. Merchandising! Thank you! Yeah, I'm trying to set up merchandising on my own, but I also almost got scammed uh, as far as that goes. So, like... 
I, I did not realize when I had like the docky and the 3D mouse pad as Donathon reward goals how exactly how difficult it would be to set up merchandising on my own. Uh, so it is it has been oh, a real up. fucking struggle thus far. Penis, like and I don't I don't want to get scammed one. because I'm nervous that I'm Howdy taking Fox. too long. We were listening to your tale of woe and my wife started talking about pig farms. You are very loved by your community. <laughs> Aw, oh, thank you. Your wife is wonderful. Um, and I, I, I talked about how, like, I got, I got an inside warning uh, to not sign with Copium. Because uh, apparently some shit was going to go down. And then Bao, Bao made her, her message about how don't trust Copium. Uh, a bunch of other people who were apparently partnered with Copium came out and they were like, I haven't been paid. People haven't received their merch. So... I, I'm very glad that my anxiousness over not delivering what I said I would to to you guys didn't overpower my something is fishy here uh, instincts because I could have lost four thousand dollars up front by going into that deal. So I'm I'm very very glad that like the large VTubers talked about their experience. They made it public. I was able to avoid getting scammed. So. It's it's going to take a while, and uh, hopefully I'll find a way to do it. But again, I am I am a single foxu. I am one person. I have I have lovely moderators who have been stepping up and helping with more more shit re related to on stream stuff. But I don't I don't have a manager. I don't have I don't have someone to do a lot of this stuff that like VTubers and companies do. So I'm I'm sorry and know that I always feel bad when I deliver late on things. The fact that they were called copium should have been enough of a clue. <laughs> Getting scammed once again, right? Bowflation saved the day. I love that Bowberry. She might she might make weird weird safe edgy jokes, but you know, she's pretty all right. <laughs> How's my Yik model coming along? Pretty well, pretty fucking well, thankfully. You say call that artist bluff about offing herself and ask her boyfriend for a dick pic. Jesus Christ. But uh, yeah, most of, most of this person's tweets are just like offer incoming. They're opening up more. They're opening up more commissions and whatnot. While they're also like time limited emote commissions. While they're not able to deliver like on their hundred plus open commissions. Like please, if you if you are on this artist Trello or if you have commissioned them, it is a scam. This this is not, do not believe their their pity baiting. This is a scam. You shot a Korsha cube, not the plush, but the squishy DUI and posted under the art tag? Oh my god. Good shooting target. I want to squish it. How many VTubers besides Bao have a dedicated gooning space? I'm sorry, a what? <laughs> Nim isn't already her manager. Nim doesn't want to be a manager, nor does he have, like, the marketing expertise to do so. <laughs> Help! Who's Doki's manager? I wish I could have found a manager as quickly as she could, but I mean, she's she's way larger than I am. So, I mean, the payment as a manager is going to be way more for her than it would be for me. ETA for Giant Nooble. It shipped, so Giant Nooble should be here soon, TM. Should be here soon, TM. Generally speaking, whenever an artist asks for more time, they overbooked or are shirking. I mean, I've I've had artists who legitimately had, you know, reasons that they delivered late on something. As long as they've been communicative and they show progress, I've never cared. Like, like my rigor, my rigor, they were just like, oh, I, you know, I've had some issues because of the country that I live in. So I'm behind schedule. I feel really bad. I'm sorry. I, like, I'll do some, some free rigging for you for like a chibi model or something. And I was like, don't worry about it. You've been communicative. You've been wonderful. I, I'm not upset with you at all. Doki got an old XQC manager. Now that's professional experience. I was just like, fi finding a manager is also difficult because a manager is someone you have to trust implicitly. A manager is someone that you should not have to micromanage. If I go to my manager and I'm like, I need this, they should be like, okay, I'll get it done. And I shouldn't have to then a week later be like, did you do thing? No, I forgot. I'll get back to it. A week later, did you do the thing? No, I did it. I'll get back to it. It's like, I shouldn't have to micromanage you as a manager. And I'm, I'm wary about picking up someone because of the implicit trust, because of how many times I've been fucked over, because they're going to have access to like my personal information and my financials. So it's like, it's a lot of trust that goes into this person. And I just, I just like, without... 
I, I don't know how I don't know how to to hire someone and then feel comfortable with them like that. Manager should micromanage you, Nia. And especially with how many people in the VTuber space are just scammers. Like I'm sure I'm sure all of you have seen that uh I'm just, I'm sure all of you have seen that VTuber who's going to be debuting soon that's like a time bomb project where they're only going to stream for one year and then they're going to graduate. This this is capitalizing on FOMO, trying to make a massive paycheck and then just leave and not have to worry about doing more work. And the person the person managing them is a known entity in the VTuber sphere who has done some really weird shit. Curry Ringy has all the receipts on that. Curry Curry Ringy has all the receipts on how fucking weird that manager is. And keep making the joke. I need to apply more timeouts. What? Shy Lily makes her managers live with her. Maybe that's what I need to do. I'm gonna hire a manager and then like put them in a bedroom in my house. Emperor Creatine, thank you for the five dollars. As your grandma would say, some of these artists sound so damn stupid they probably couldn't even wipe themselves. God damn. Not to mention how Bao got rinsed by a scammer twice. Yeah, it's like it's it's absolutely insane to me. Like it doesn't matter how large you are as a VTuber, and it doesn't matter how much name recognition an artist you commission has, you can still get scammed. The one joke chat makes when any streamer says rigor. Imagine. <laughs> Being a VTuber manager is sounding a lot like a live-in hospice nurse. I was like, I've, I've, I know some decent managers, but they, they can't take on more work than they already have. You know, they already have people they're managing. Managers to the cuck shed. Okay, but your wife can come too? Sure, why not? You know, if it, it'll, it'll keep you happy, right? You'll be motivated to work if your wife is there. <laughs> VTuber managers will turn out to be like P. Diddy managers. It's so hard, dude. It's so hard. Or just get a man to live with you. A lot a lot of indie VTubers that start like in my position before they have professional managers and stuff, they have like a parent or a significant other that can help them with these logistic things and with planning things. And I just don't have that. My my support network is basically my moderators. And until recently, I didn't even have, like, a moderation team that was a backbone. It was more like I had to constantly moderate the moderators, and I had to deal with people being, like, weird shit cunts as well. You solemnly propose not to fleece or scam. You have real ideas. Maybe you can make me into a baroness. I'm sorry, what? You almost fell for a model rigger scam on Fiverr, but you were like, let me wait a bit on this. A few months later, they were just gone. Ended up commissioning it for 200 anyways from a good friend of yours who did it out of pure goodwill. Bless their heart, right? And Kier letting another man's wife come. I can't believe it. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't understand what you just said. Sorry about being weird. What? We're all weird here, Master Goa. How long before Kirsha marries her himbo manager? I don't have one yet. They're so stupid that they couldn't pour piss out of a boot, even with instructions. You're having a stroke. God damn, man. God damn, man. And it's like, uh... I've, I've also had people ask me, Well, you know other VTubers, Kirsha. Why don't you ask them for contacts? Oh, I have. Oh, I have. You know what's funny? Even being in a corporation doesn't save you from artists just leaving you on red. I have quite literally reached out to multiple artists who have worked on projects for VTuber companies and have either just been ghosted or just never even responded to. I, I, I was just like, well, at least you didn't take my money, but hot damn, could you, like, what? <laughs> I must lift so I can become a manager. If you ever moved to Georgia, you'd volunteer to be my himbo manager? Well, unfortunately, I live in Georgia, but I'm trying to escape. <laughs> to be honest, uh, my content will restrict my contacts. I mean, I'm sure there are people who will just not answer me because of my content, but I would imagine they would just also block me, right? Like, <laughs> and I, I would have I would have more respect for someone who was just like, hey, uh, I don't want to take your commission because your ideals don't line up with mine. I'd be like, okay, that's that's fair. I was like, I, I'd feel, I'd feel kind of sad, but also it's just like, you know, they have every right to do that. The scamming is only going to get worse too, since everyone is starting to glom onto the VTuber scene now. Yeah, I mean, the, the scams were crazy high previously, but now, now that it's entering more into the normie sphere, it's also going to get worse. 
You're at the gym currently? Himbo in the making? I have, I have, I have been going back to the gym recently, which has packed my schedule even more full. Even more full, unfortunately. I'm trying, I guess for the, for the, la the final word on, uh, the final word on art stuff here. I'm trying to get a graphic made for it. Uh, so hopefully I can put out an announcement like on Twitter and in Discord. <laughs> Help soon. And I haven't yet, and unfortunately, you know, it's it's uh it's coming it's come down to the deadline here, but I will be streaming this upcoming Monday. I will be streaming this upcoming Monday because I have a model reveal. Thankfully. Thankfully, I have a, I have finally, finally debut time. I've been, I've been, <laughs> I've been a pre-debut VTuber for five years. So Monday, Monday we'll have a short model reveal stream. And I'll probably cry again because this person has also been one of the most reliable people I have ever met. They are beautiful and wonderful and I can't wait to shill them to absolutely everyone. And I hope they have nothing but success and people wanting to commission them for beautiful fucking models. This, this person, this person who has been working on this model that I'm going to debut on Monday. Easter Monday, yeah, Easter Monday debut. We're gonna have all the egg all the egg together. Some of you are going to be really upset. <laughs> it's 2D. It is a 2D model. 2D model on Monday. 2D model on Monday. And I'm probably going to cry again. And like, I, I genuinely... This this person, I'm going to flate them even more on Monday. But they not only drew this art in like... Uh, just a couple of months. I think he started working on it in like January. He taught himself the live 2D programming... So he could rig the model himself as well. This man drew the artwork, learned rigging, rigged the model, and delivered it in under four months. And, and watching him work on this timeline and how quality it is makes me wonder, what the fuck is the issue with all of the other artists? I don't get it, man. Yeah, based Giga Chad. Based, based work ethic Giga Chad, dude. And this is, again... He was just like, I want to do this for you. I don't want to be paid. I just like, I want, I want to, I want to get into doing the models. And I was like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding? Are you, uh, what, are you, are you okay? And the fact that he's doing this for free and taught himself live 2D in order to do it is just insane to me. I cannot wait. Monday, Monday will be the name, Beer. Don't worry about it. I'm going to fillet this man so fucking hard. You will not be able to forget his name come Monday. <laughs> Hire that man. He, he's fucking wonderful. Am I his Kamiyoshi? Probably not. He's just known me for a long time. You didn't know that he was learning it himself? That is insane. <laughs> yeah. He literally taught himself how to rig to rig my model that he also made the art for. Flatio stream. Yeah, come Monday. What program is that going to be in? What do you mean by this? That much of filleting going on come Monday is right. Exactly. Exactly. You have a good idea of who it is? Maybe. <laughs> maybe, maybe that's just the di- Hold on. My brain. Oh, no. Chat, my brain just kicked in and realized that every single artist I have praised for having work ethic and for being a good artist and for delivering on time, or even if they couldn't for being communicative, has been a man. And every single artist I've ever had an issue with who can't deliver on time and has no work ethic is a woman. Oh no. Oh no, dude, I'm becoming more misogynistic. <laughs> Carpal tunnel, true. True, she, she is she is amazing and she is not a man, so she's the exception. She's the fucking exception. <laughs> Kirsha going her own way. God damn, don't say that. Wow, what an odd coincidence. 
wow, what a, what a strange coincidence. I wonder how housewives were able to turn their hobbies into actual income back in the day, but now women can't even do that. <laughs> this is what you'd refer to as a woman moment. Good, thank you for the two. Ah. Rendering program VTube Studio or something weirdly don't obscure. Uh, he's, I think it's called like Live 2D Cubism. I, I, I don't know. What it's it's a normal Live 2D program. <gasps> Perfect boom timing. You can see the exact moment when Kirsch's brain autism sorted all of her artists into male and female groups. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. My, uh, what? <laughs> it had to be told. Have I seen Azehara's song? The sounding one? Yeah. That man, that man is coom bait personified. Live 2D Cubism is a software for building the model. It'll be VTube Studio, most likely. Yeah, it'll it'll you be in give VTube me Studio. Butt scratches like I'm a real pet. I know who it is, but I will not speak his name and spoil the fun. Good. But congratulations to you for finally getting a 2D model, and good job to Homie for working so hard on this project. Yeah, saying saying his name would spoil the entire surprise. So shh. <laughs> Nine circle, thank you for the five dollars. Did Jim let Jade out to help you? If when I when I talk to him, that's that's a question I could probably ask in DMs. It's just like, hey yo, you guys you guys do literally so fucking well with merch. Uh, please uh, please give me some insights. <laughs> Salka Alpaca, thank you for the thousand yen. You're gonna fertilize some eggs on Monday. Congratulations on the sex. Slaves built the Parthenon. Slaves built America. <laughs> the timing, holy! The fox pilled herself into misogyny. Oh my god. This is your song. Thank you. Thank you! I was forced to read The Starving Artist as a student and after hearing your struggle with getting a 2D model I think that more artists should suffer the same fate as that artist. <laughs> thank, thank you Spider God for the slaves! Thank you! You can't rig with AI yet, if not imagine the possibilities, yeah? Yeah? Salka Alpaca, thank you for the thousand yen! It was a joke, there's no sex, oh. Well, I hope you get to fertilize some eggs one day. I believe in you and your alpaca powers. <laughs> Speaking of fellatio, you're writing an English essay about words with double meanings, so can you explain to us the difference between a dick, a penis, and a cock, and why it can mean chicken? I'm not, I'm not an ep epitomologist, so no, probably not. <laughs> but speaking of cocks... Uh, one of the other things from the Donathon uh, that was a reward was the not safe for work artwork that you guys wanted in the uh, Durndal outfit. Uh, you saw the reference sheet that Nova, once again, beautiful lady, made. Uh, and I commissioned the artist and they were like, okay, it's going to take a bit, but uh, when I get to it, you'll know. And I was like, thank you. Thank you for the timelining. Uh, well, that artist responded to me recently and they were just like, here, I got some drafts for you. And because I felt bad about it taking so fucking long, not only am I getting the full color illustration that was promised during the Donathon, but I'm also doing a uh, four panel manga comic. Is it called four four page? Yeah, four page manga comic. So you're gonna you're gonna get a full a full illustration, and there's a there's a not safe for work uh, little little mini manga here. Four coma. Is that what they're called? There's more than four panels on each page, but it's four pages. It's four, four pages. The difference between three years and bup kiss and four months completed project is the difference between artist and autist. Oh my god. Please be Pippa and Kirsha go to Walmart. Well, no, it's a donathon reward, so it doesn't it doesn't include Pippa. And also, that wouldn't be not safe for work, probably, question mark? Manga, diamond hands, bros, gear coin to the moon. Yeah, so he is uh, he is hard at work on that. And it is coming out beautifully. I love, I love this man's uh, art design. I love this man's art design. And I'm trying to get one more thing, trying to get one more thing uh, to complete the bundle, as it were. Uh, but I'm, I'm not very well versed in not safe for work artists. And the only not safe for work artist that I knew drew impeccable buttholes was Green Opie. Please don't post his Twitter in chat because it's nothing but porn. 
But great, great OP does amazing, impeccable buttholes. And uh, I wanted him, but he does not take commissions right now, unfortunately. So I'm, I, you know, I was trying to find, I was trying to find another butthole artist, as it were. <laughs> I was born without a right hand. What did he mean by this? Based green enjoy. So I'm glad some of you know his name in chat. He is, he's fucking crazy artist, dude. I can always see if Shadman is taking commissions. It has always been a dream of mine to have uh, artwork done by the Shadman. <laughs> by, by the Shad. Time to rank butthole artists. You saw butthole art of me today? What? <laughs> Kier, my mother's in the next room. Well, you know. <laughs> but a ball buddy doesn't do porn anymore. He said he makes too much drawing people's shit posts. Wasn't he in prison for drugs? I mean, Shad is a very controversial figure, but I still want artwork from him. <laughs> Oh my god. Isn't Shadman still in prison? I don't know. I have no idea. I don't follow... I don't keep up with what's going on with him. I just know that he is an internet notorious figure. Oh shit, green. Yeah. It's always nice to hear the fox who talk about buttholes while trying to lift weights. You're welcome. In older times, artists used to make several reference paintings before painting a much larger painting. Those who could handle the pressure now hang in the galleries. Artists must aspire to such a level of work ethic. Yeah, I agree. You follow Green? Of course you do. That doesn't surprise me. Oh wait, Azahara, you could probably recommend butthole artists to me. <laughs> Aesthetic meme is the one that you follow mostly. Don't know if he takes comms though. Am I secretly a degen? I have a very vivid imagination. Very, very vivid. So even if I am not a gooner, I can make some pretty crazy ideas. Oh god, there's a new rumor about Shadman every month. I, I mean, I don't, I don't keep up with it. I just know him as a notorious online internet figure, man. I don't, I don't support him. I don't hate him. But like, when you're online, if you get Shadman art, you know, you kind of made it. <laughs> you know many, but you don't know if they have open commissions. Yeah, finding finding porn artists that do open or hentai artists, I guess, that do commissions is uh kind of hard too, because they make they probably make a decent amount of money just off of doing fan art of sexual things i just want to orgasm the not gooner by the way i just um you masturbate once a day to stay healthy you know right before bed so you can pass out and feel happy 18 dart thir three does good butthole i'm never gonna if you say a name in chat i'm literally never gonna remember it it'll it'll have to be like like at me in the discord with their link in the dgen channel or something wait not shy lily her not safe for work alter ego dark lily what the hell what the hell? Just joined and here, butthole artist. Good old Kirsha. You're welcome. You mean at least once a day? Yeah, at least once a day. Sometimes, sometimes I'm frustrated, you know? I would never forget Shinzo Abe's name. Exactly. I always remember Shinzo Abe's name. Sometimes I say Shinzo Abe, though, because my American brain gets in the way. Send them to you. You'll be sure to pass them along. That's true. Use them strictly for passing and not anything else. I just don't believe you. I just don't believe you. Also, let me, let me, oh, I can't bring it up. I was going to bring up the video of the boat, but I had to close my other browser. <laughs> I, had, I had to close my other browser. I'm going to say Kirsha in chat now so she forgets her own name. It is a miracle that I've never forgotten my own name, I'll be real with you. Do you not understand the internet's interest in feet or anal? I do. I understand both, even if I am not interested in feet. You only jerk it like once a week and sometimes you feel like that's too much? I'm sorry for your loss. They do comms, but it's currently closed. You learned something today. Yeah. Even, even if an artist has closed commissions, sometimes I'll DM them and just be like, Hey, yo, do you have any idea when your commissions might open? Because, like, I'm really interested. 14 times a day loop. You can't do that by yourself, though. You forgot your own name for, like, 10 seconds, and then you got scared. I've forgotten my birthday. Like, I, I hate it. I hate it when people are just like, Hey, yo, how old are you? And I'm like, ah, uh, ah. Uh, 
and then I have to break out my calculator and do some math so I don't lie to them on accident. <laughs> and given that meme does a lot of VTuber art, uh, you'll send me their way. Probably easy to talk into it. Maybe. Maybe. 2000s, baby. Stay winning. <laughs> do not use Olive Oil or WD-40, chat. <laughs> do not... <laughs> Dude, I don't know my own age half the time. It's hard. It's hard to remember that stuff. Listen, a nut helps pass out quicker. It does. It relieves stress. It helps you sleep like a baby. If you ain't jerking off before you go to bed, are you even living? The answer's no. Do I mind people drawing me as a lolly? Like I do people drawing me as a fuda. No, draw me draw me as a lolly all you want, dude. Draw me I have I have tons, tons of lolly artwork. That has been posted in the Discord. Guess I'll die. Wait, why? Why would you die? F? Am I dying? Am I dying? Okay, this isn't me this time. This isn't me this time. This isn't me. I haven't opened anything. You opened your browser, didn't you? No! No, I did not. I did not open my browser. I don't know. I don't know if any of my words get lost, right? Like, I do. I keep talking when the stream goes down like that because, like, I don't know if it's lagging or if it's just like dead. You know, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> you have an AI lollied Kirsha. I, I like. I like Opi lolly. I think they're super fucking cute. They're for protection, not fucking you, Dgens. <laughs> but I've been, I've been drawn as as both Opi and regular lolly. It's cute. As long as. As long as you're not fucking the lolly, you know? I mean, if you draw that, uh, that's, on, that's on you. I don't have the same visceral hatred of it as I do Fuda. But, you know. <laughs> I do not retweet porn on my, on my Twitter timeline. No issue for you. You put a link so short stacks. Wake boy, fuck along. Draw her as a man next. <laughs> If my stream keeps going down, I wonder if I should just stop for today. I, I wonder I wonder if like it is just not meant to be a Tuesday stream. <laughs> Lowercase F. <laughs> Lowercase F. You're just glad you're not the only one weirded out by food of fascination. I just know too many men that have gotten porn addicted and then can't function with real flesh women. I've never encountered that with someone who's into lolly. I've, ne I've never heard, like, a fan of Lolly be like, yeah, I tried having sex with a grown adult woman who I was dating, and uh, I just couldn't- I couldn't get hard, and I couldn't come. Big Literally never heard that long. from a Lolly enjoyer. It's only been the Fuda enjoyers. You enjoy prawn with an actual plot? It's legit so fucking difficult to find. I should- I shouldn't- I shouldn't- you know? <laughs> My stream didn't go down for you this time? I don't understand, dude. I don't understand. <laughs> Just pauses intermittently. It's not that bad. Dear ISP, better get your shit together. What? This is getting dangerously close to Vosh territory. What? We're not talking about horse cock. What are you doing? Oh, by lolly, are the best. Not gonna lie. It's like that. It's like that. That one chick. What's that blonde tomboy? The blonde tomboy with the like mega milkers that everyone was like, that's a child. I was like, how the fuck do you see a kid in that? What the fuck? What's wrong with you? And can we have one tangent before you leave? You recommend the Buddha? Great stories. Very wholesome. Read porn recommending in the chat? What's happening? Yeah, Uzaki! Thank you, chat. Uzaki! You're like, Twitter had a fucking meltdown over, over her, dude. Well, the word the person is looking for is a short stack. Short stack is different from lolly. Short stack is different from lolly. She's like 21. Yeah, she got, she's got the lolly proportions. She's an opi lolly. <laughs> Not only does she have massive tits, she's canonically 20. Yeah, lolly doesn't mean underage. She's got gray hair though. It's like that Pokemon. It's like that Pokemon lady. She's not a lolly, but that Pokemon lady who's like 40 years old and everybody on Twitter's like, that's a child. I'm like, that's, that's not even a lolly. What do you mean? What do you mean? She doesn't ha even have lolly proportions. Uh, to my knowledge, she didn't have like a fucking thick ass and thighs, but I might be misremembering. And Twitter have meltdown. It must be a Tuesday. Salka Alpaca, thank you for the thousand yen. 
Uh, the, does hatred of anime come from xenophobia or cringe culture? Probably a little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. A pickled cucumber. Thank you for the two dollars. You just like the Kirsha Daki booty wrinkles. The, I, the the Daki is going to be very interesting once it finishes. Thank you for the two dollars. The Uzaki Chan artist definitely was. Uh, the tits man, not much of an ass man. Yeah, short short stack is different from lolly, and you can't call someone with no thighs or ass a short stack. Lusamine is clearly a grown woman. She's just flat. Yeah, like, she doesn't even have the lolly proportions. If it's Pokemon, she probably has a thick ass and thighs. I've been- I've been seeing all of the, like, Pokemon Go comparisons on Twitter recently, where Niantic is apparently testing, like, changing the female body type in certain regions. They haven't tested it in the US yet, so I don't know what region they're testing that new body type in. Nobody who's posted the screenshots has posted, like, where they live to have gotten those screenshots. <laughs> Help. But uh, I remembered seeing Niantic's logo in one of the dives I did on either the Sweet Baby stuff or just Bridge in general. I don't, I don't think I talked about it, but I was scrolling and I saw Niantic's logo uh, and somebody even mentioned it and I was like, yeah, yeah, was just, uh, you know, I recognize that balloon. But I didn't, I didn't go into talking about it. And I, I asked Ziz and KB if they could figure out where in my VOD, since they do the tagging, I saw the Niantic balloon, they couldn't find it. So I guess it's just lost to the ages. I guess, I guess it's just lost. The new models are for the Pokemon go to the polls version. Yeah, they're poisoned. They they have a lot of uh, DEI nonsense on their website as well. Niantic, Niantic does. Dwarf women are short stacks. Dwarf women's. Dragon's Dogma discriminates against the flat whammons. You can do more thorough dig after stream. No problem. It's kind of it was it was short notice on me to ask about it, but it just like tingled. It tingled my brain. And speaking of brain tingles, if I go back to my Firefox here, back to my goddamn browser, we had a uh, had this port video here. It's still live. It's still there. I don't. I don't. I don't like how YouTube timestamps work, dude. Why can't I use this? There we go. I don't like how YouTube timestamps work because they like they're like in reverse and numbers hurt my brain. <laughs> so I can't I can't figure out I can't figure out how to tell people like where where the timestamp is. Dwarf women are short stacks with beards. So just Italians. She opened the browser and no F. It's a miracle. You can DM me a vid of the event. Is this this took a took a vid of the event, but I don't I don't like playing videos from Discord, especially if they're in DMs. It's very risky, as the kids say. That's broken, broken. Yeah, it's not uh it's not letting me click on anything here, so I might I might have to do the risky. You can no longer see the crash lot in the live video. Oh, all right, I guess we're gonna be a risky motherfucking biscuit then. Hold on. I guess I guess we're gonna be fucking risky. Download the video. That makes it even worse to play because VLC doesn't like being fucking window captured, so I have to do a monitor capture. I don't like doing that either. All right, Discord properties. Discord. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Everything's fine. Everything's fine and wonderful. My background music hasn't been on this entire time. I didn't even realize that. Monia? Kaiser Vermilion, they give the five dollars. Twitter's where intelligence goes to die. It's just a day that ends in Y. Goon to what you will. Just remember all things in moderation. Yeah. Like I, I think I think the people who are like bad in pornography are are kind of silly. Banning it's not gonna do anything. Uh, like you can you can enjoy something in moderation, but a lot of people don't understand how to moderate, you know? So the full the full boat thing is like seven minutes. And in in the clip that's been making the rounds on Twitter, uh, in that clip, it doesn't really show the full scope of what happened, in my opinion. Um I I feel like it genuinely looks really suspicious. It could be some sort of weird accident. But like it, it looks very suspicious. You can see the boat starting to, starting to come in on the left side a little bit here, starting starting to come in a little bit on on the left side. Oh, you're gonna miss a lot of context actually. My Discord's cropped too hard. Fa 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 fa. Hold on. 
Hold on, Discord properties. Hold on. Transform, edit. Crop left by 300. I gotta remember 300. I gotta remember the 300 here. Okay. The like, boat, boat coming on the left side. It's boating out of its goddamn mind. Remember the 300. Now you can see, you see the power is on on the boat. Does the port of Baltimore not employ pilots? Uh, they probably do, but we'll get to that. I have a tab for that as well. Oh, you got a license for that porn? I remember when the UK was considering banning porn from everyone's ISPs. And if you wanted access to porn websites, you would have to call, like, the licensing council or whatever to, like, get the porn unblocked from your IP and you'd have to prove your identity for it. I remember that. I don't think it ever passed, but I remember them trying to do that. So boat, you boat swinging. You men's hate! You can't make me! Samir listened to my calls. Medium left into sharp left. You are breaking the bridge. What are you doing, my friend? <laughs> my friend! I'm a boat! It's not a nice boat! Hello. Hello, Cheems Ball. I see you've crawled on top of my computer. Bridges in the US glow. See, the power, the power goes off here. Power, power goes off once on the boat. <laughs> UK is insanely dystopic, it is. <laughs> it is, truly. Magnus Lord, thank you for the hundred biddies. It's a good analysis. I'll have to, I'll have to maybe check out that link, depending on how long it is. Boat just drifting along there. <laughs> This isn't what we meant by bridge was a threat. No. <laughs> Knowing how this ends, you had anxiety about the trucks passing. Yeah. Yeah, like watching the cars going across the bridge there. To my knowledge, unless something has changed since the beginning of stream, uh, there were six people missing as of as of before stream. I'm James Jameson, and I want to masturbate today. Please unblock the midget porn site, please. <laughs> and then the power comes back on momentarily here. Unfortunately, ships this size, they can't steer. They can't. They cannot. The UK can be explained by the revolutionary new policy of their conservative party. Zero seats. What the heck? The six people missing were a work crew. They estimate 20 people total to be in the water. I don't I don't know if anyone has been confirmed uh passed from this. Uh I I haven't I haven't had time to read it cuz like I was sleeping. I was sleeping. Mm, T, thank you for the 25 run. Max in foil hat moment. This was done to divert attention from the Moscow attack. And you can, you can see the boat turning, like, directly turning into the bridge thing here. So it's, they, they were, they were, like, perpendicular. And now they have turned directly facing the, the bridge support beam. The power goes off again. It's steering into the support. What? Yeah, that's why, that's why I don't think this was an accident. I, the boat, this is not, I, that's why my tinfoil is severely located on my head right now. You've watched the video a few times now. You don't see any cars on it, thankfully. There's a few cars on it. Like these ones right here, these ones that are blinking, these are construction vehicles. Oh, you can't see my mouse. But in the, in the center of the bridge on the right side, underneath the big, the big red sparkly thing, those, those are construction vehicles. Multi bridge drifting. You should take your meds. Meds, hey! You can't make me! Tinfoil hat moment. This was done to cover up the P. Diddy Pedo ring thing. The P. Diddy Pedo ring thing is interesting because it's more Sorry like. To hear about your bussy. It's more, it's more like I wonder what they're trying to cover up because if they're going after him, he must have tried talking about someone else. Because plane flood the country. I saw that as well. I'm 
like 10 big trucks have passed? Yeah. Yeah. The smoke trail and the lights turning off are a sign that they're desperately trying to turn back. Put them on reverse. I don't know if the smoke means that they're desperately trying to turn back either. Like I, I, I don't, I don't know if it means that. Cause I, they could, they could have just been going full speed of fucking head as well. Imagine driving on the bridge and seeing that boat fucking reverse so quick, dude. Ain't no way. Would love to know what the crew was screaming inside inside the ship at the time. And then the collapse happens. You can see the construction vehicles in the center also go down. <laughs> Reverse a billion tons on water. What's interesting is that apparently one of the things that I read before I went back to bed was that this bridge was only 50 years old. So it's it's not an old bridge. The video posted as an analysis by a maritime shipping expert using live boat tracking program. Where did that take place? This was in Baltimore, Maryland. This was in Maryland. Built in the 70s and took five years to, to buy. Imagine, yeah, imagine the sound that happened, dude. Modern design. The smoke means they are literally grinding the shit out of the engine gears with a sudden reverse. It doesn't mean it's a sudden reverse. They could be also going forward. There's there's zero way to tell that they're trying to reverse it from this point of view. A reminder to chat, 50 years ago was only 1970. Um, let me... Uh, Ziz, can you post that link to me? Because I, I can't open my other browser to post it and it's not in chat anymore. The one that, the one that, that, guy, that guy keeps trying to get me to open. About the, uh, the, the, the analysis. The crew watches Kirsha, but they can't understand English. They kept hearing about bridge. That's the wrong bridge! The ship has a black box recording device for all communications. The information definitely exists, but whether it'll get released... Yeah, no, I mean, I'm sure the information exists, but we do not have access to that. The entire crew was Hindustani Indians, by the way. There's Twitter posts out there about them celebrating a DEI-style event at their company. The competency crisis is real. See, I was I was hesitant to call it a competency crisis because it was a Singaporean ship. So I was like, I don't know what the state of things over in Singapore are. Post what link? Uh, Ziz, there's a guy that keeps spamming in chat saying that I should check out an analysis vid of the ship and he donated a hundred biddies, but I can't open my browser without killing my stream. So I need, I need that link to pull up the video that he's talking about. Oh, there we go. He posted it again. Hey, posted it again. Uh, no. How long is this? How long is this? Six minutes? All right. What's going on with shipping? And this guy... He's got an updated video? Hey, what's going on with shipping? His, his channel name is what's going on with shipping. In this episode, maritime historian at Campbell University and former merchant mariner discuss the elision between MV Dolly and the Baltimore Key Bridge. Alright, so this guy, this guy actually, actually knows boating meds. stuff. Meds, hey! Not you not a random not a random YouTuber, but an actual actual guy with some boat knowledge. The, ship. the entire crew was Indian, and when they lost rudder control, they fell back on their tech support routes and tried rebooting the ship. So a quick update here. Uh, Want to show you the video of the track line of MV Dolly as it leaves the berth here. Mm -hmm at the port of Baltimore. So here is Dolly. There will be two tugs, Bridget and Eric McAllister that are gonna come in and take the ship off the berth. You see its track line here as it heads out. I'm gonna go ahead and let this play. I've got it sped up here a little bit so that you'll be able to see it go here a little bit faster than normal. Two tugs come in and they get the vessel off and the ship is gonna head out into the track here. I'm going to pause it right here, and we're going to go ahead and reset here. 
Dolly is coming down her track just as you expect. The two tugs leave her. Not unusual. We see that happen all the time. She is in the channel. Now, this channel is, is, can be used for two, two, two ships at a time, but they usually like to just do one. And so you see one ship. She is a little bit on the left side of the lane, just a little bit off center, but that is fine. She's doing about six, speeding up here to about seven, eight knots. I'm gonna go ahead and readjust. So here is the key bridge right here. And this is where I wanna kinda of get this. Is he assuming the ship's gender? I don't know anything about ships, so I don't want to interrupt him. I wanna like actually listen to what he's saying. I was just in Baltimore on this bridge a week ago going north in a semi. Spooky. A That's big very event spooky. like this happening to me is basically my nightmare. I imagine this is like a lot of people's nightmares. Whenever whenever I'm on a bridge, I always think about it collapsing. Like it's it's an unavoidable thought that just worms its way into my head. Time. I was actually driving north on I-95 in Virginia not far from here when it happened. Not far for a truck driver means south of Richmond. Terrifying <laughs> stuff. Keep ships female. Thank you. Coincided with what's going on. All right, on the left is marine traffic. On the right is the live feed that we have from the Port of Baltimore. Okay, I tried to sync this up the best I could. The videos are not running at exactly the same moment. But this is the moment that we see Dolly lose power. She goes dark in the video up here. She is out without power at this time. You see the vessel is progressing right here at about 8.5 knots and she's heading for the key bridge at this moment. And again, one of the things that we're not sure about here is what is causing the power outage on the vessel. Uh, is it mechanical? Is it computer? Is it fuel? We just don't know, but the ship goes completely dark. And let me be clear, the worst feeling ever on a ship is to lose power. Everything gets quiet. And I'm, I'm wondering as well, right? Like it, it could for sure be a malfunction but my, my brain is like, what if they cut the power to the ship, right? Like, it's possible it was a malfunction, and I know the ship was involved in an accident previously as well, but what if they cut the power? What if they cut the power, is what I'm thinking. And like, the, sm the smoke, it looks like there might already be smoke kind of billowing at this point, but it's hard to tell since it's completely dark. Silence is the enemy on a ship. That means everything has gone wrong. So here we see the vessel coming out. It had just come from the secret terminal, which you can see right behind it. Uh, secret, she was actually up on this berth right over here where the cranes are, uh, just underneath the center part of the bridge. Uh, and she's coming down. So she's still progressing down. She if you want to do a terrorism, why do it when nobody is on the bridge? Because it's not about the casualties of the people. It's about removing, like, routes for people to travel on. It's not necessarily, like, doing, doing a terrorism isn't always necessarily about killing people. It's, it's about kneecapping supply routes and ways that people can travel. He's doing about 8.5 knots at this point, and she is coming down the channel. Now, I got this playing at basically real time. Uh, we're going to go ahead and speed it up here in a minute, but I want to get to the point where she will get her power back on and as she progresses we'll see the lights come back on with the vessel now at this moment there's a big question about whether or not the ship has rudder control this is the key thing if the ship does not have rudder control then the ship is careening out of control there's nothing you can do uh, the ship would have an anchor ready to drop you would have a crew up on the bow but the question is is that crew still there are they standing by they should be in place until they get out past the bridge and the channel. There is a Maryland Bay pilot on board advising the ship's master. Right at this moment, hopefully, they're calling out uh, issues on Channel 16 and the other hailing channels that they'll be using to tell them to be aware. They will have portable radios, so they don't need the ship's radio. Here you see the power come back on the vessel. So now uh, Dolly has power back on. She is starting to drift. If you look at uh, marine traffic here, she is starting to drift toward the uh, south side of the channel at this point. So she is beginning her movement. Remember, this is a vessel that is about 100,000 tons. So right, 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 right. Again, could be malfunction. Could be 
people on the ship realizing the power was cut, turning it back on. Is she drifting or is someone steering it? I don't know, but it's suspicious to me. It's suspicious. Speeding up. Crew Doko. Won't this close the port for a while? It, it will basically kneecap this port, yes. So a substantial size vessel, it will have a lot of momentum on her. And if they had lost power, then the rudder would not be answering. So wherever that rudder was, even if the rudder was dead center, it's not providing any maneuverability because you have torque from the propeller. The propeller is going to want to twist mm -hmm. the ship. Now we're seeing smoke belching out of the, the ship. Here's the smoke coming out. What we tend to think is this is the ship starting to back down. Uh, they will try to get way off the ship. And that's going to be an indication we're going to see here if the ship begins to slow down. So I got it running now. It's a little bit off sync. Uh, it's just not quite uh, chi uh, timed in exactly. We're lagging behind on the video. But what you do see is the ship is starting to lose way. It's starting to come off. It's down to 7.6 knots. Now the ship is coming out of the channel at this point and still has a lot of way on. That could be just a little bit of loss there by maneuverability. We know she drops her port anchor. We just don't know when she drops the port anchor. And again, more black smoke coming out of the vessel. This is either an engine failure or the, the issue of the ship trying to uh, back down. And then you have the strike up against the bridge. That's where you see the speed come off to about 1.5 knots there. And on the video, you will see the ship. There'll be a big splash in front of the vessel as it hits that piling and you'll see the uh, uh, collapse of the pier. You're still seeing black smoke emanating from the vessel at this point. Uh, the ship has basically come now to a full stop at this point on terms of its maneuverability. It's still showing a little bit of way on because of the GPS. Uh, it just takes a while for AIS and GPS to get in sync with that. And this is the moment of impact that we will see here at 1.28 in the morning, Eastern Standard Time, four hour difference between UTC. See a big splash there as the pylons hit and then you have the, the bridge collapse. So that gives you a kind of a play-by-play -play there on marine traffic as it goes on. This is current marine traffic right now. You'll see vessels that are on scene here, Coast Guard cutters, tugs and barges. And if you zoom out here a little bit, uh, I'll show you the impact this is going to have. So that's Patasco River. That's the river heading up into the region. All the yeah, ships that it are is now still wild in to Baltimore watch. It just collapse are trapped like that. in Baltimore. They cannot get out. Uh, that means that vessels that are in there are going to have to wait for the key bridge to be cleared. And obviously that's going to be a long uh, prospect because of the casualties associated with it. You have vessels just below the Bay Bridge here waiting to get up into Baltimore. Uh, a lot of these are container and bulk carriers waiting to get in. So they're going to have to either divert or go somewhere else. And if you go down the Bay even further, there is a larger anchorage right at the very southern end of the Bay for ships this will heading probably up, become common, uh, sadly. into that region. Yeah, if if this is related to the competency crisis, we're going to start seeing this a lot more. Like, if this was a complete accident based on competency, this is the new normal. This is what we should come to expect, basically. So this is a obviously developing situation. We're going to keep monitoring it and, and let you know. Sorry for the kind of haphazard issue here but it's hard to coordinate this a little bit and get these two systems working right. I'll work on a better video that will uh, kind of more seamlessly put it together, but this is just some quick, dirty news right now as we go forward. Uh, stay tuned to what's going on with shipping. Follow me on X at Mercogliano S for any further information. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mariner Mans. Thank you, Mr. Mariner Mans. Let me post the, uh, the link to this guy's video in the chat so you guys, so you guys can have it as well. That's, uh, that's what is going on with shipping is the name of the channel. That's uh, the guy we just watched. Knows knows his shit. <laughs> Thank you, Hank Schrader. Was that a Lego globe? It looked like a Lego globe, yeah. A malevolent Creek Gorilla. Thank you for the 99 It's related to the competency crisis. Suez Canal all over again. Oh my god, I remember that boat. I remember that boat. It was a good video. Thank you, Magnus. Singapore registered ship equals Chinese owned. 
that's again like it it does look like it potentially could be sabotage it's a singaporean ship that's chinese owned that has an indian crew as uh, i don't i don't know man see it seems kind of seems kind of weird to me as it were as it twert and then uh i have this tab where a uh, tweet was put out uh, at 1.28 a.m. ET, a large container ship struck the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore. Large parts of the bridge immediately collapsed, sending multiple vehicles into the water, including a group of construction workers. Rescue workers believe at least seven construction workers were on the bridge, but say the figure could be as high as 20. The container ship, the Singapore-flagged Dali, was leaving Baltimore for Sri Lanka. The ship suffered major damage, including a possible breach in the hull. The cause of the collision was not immediately clear. The ship appeared to lose power in the minutes before the crash. Rescue work is ongoing as of 4.15 a.m. If this isn't terrorism, how scary is it that this could happen on an accident? You mean, if that's an accident, what would an attack look like? If this is an accident, and if it's attributable to the competency crisis, which it might be, uh, again, this this makes it even more frightening than just, like, a, a basic terror attack, in my, in my opinion. Like, if it could be explained by, like, oh, yeah, they wanted to do this, that's, like, that's horrific, but also I I know that it's an attack and it's not something that's going to be a common occurrence. If it's the competency crisis, you have no idea when this is going to happen again. You can't trust any of the boat captains or boat crews. It's going to be exactly like the airplanes that keep falling out of the sky. Like, you, you, you can't take any of that at face value anymore. Not being able to trust basic bitch infrastructure stuff, such as container ships, very, very bad. Not long ago, Biden put out the presidential order to replace all of the insides of all the harbor cranes all over the U.S. because they were built by China. It's believed that they spy using them. Could have some relations to what happened. I haven't heard of that. Source question mark? It is 100% an accident that happened before on this ship. Uh, it is a combination of shit crew and shittier ship, lowest bidder making it. Whack. Ted, thank you for the five dollars. He grew up around Baltimore, drove over that bridge hundreds of times. Crazy to see that happen. Yeah, yeah, and especially since I'm uh, I'm gonna be driving north. Uh, I'm gonna be crossing a lot of bridges. Uh, I'm gonna be crossing a lot of bridges in New Jersey and New York and Massachusetts and probably Maryland and Connecticut. Not nah, just you know. Every time I go over a bridge, I always think about it collapsing and I get really fucking nervous. Like I just I I, I try not to think about it. I try not to think about it, but it's just like when you're going over a bridge and you're super high up in the air, you're just looking down at the water below you, you're just like, what if, what if the bridge just collapsed right now? What if my car fell in the water? How would I get out? Would I survive? What if something fell on top of my car while it was in the water? I don't, I don't know how to break out of a car if I start drowning in one. Good old intrusive thoughts. It's like a freaking horror movie. It is, it is like a horror movie. It's like if you ever watched a fucking Final Destination, every time you're behind a logging truck, you just hold your breath, you know? <laughs> Probably wouldn't survive the impact. I, I mean, maybe. I don't know. It's your fault. First you wanted to fly and planes started crashing. Now you want to drive and the bridge collapse. I'm not a harbinger of destruction! Time to start buying emergency for that. <laughs> don't worry, a fresh DEI hire inspected the bridge. God damn. So this, this article, at least six missing, Baltimore's key bridge collapses after container ship hits a support column. A massive container ship adrift at nine miles per hour issued a mayday early Tuesday as it headed toward the iconic Francis Scott Key Bridge, losing power before colliding with one of the bridge's support columns. As the vessel struck the bridge in the middle of the night, it caused a din that could be heard ashore and immediately toppled an essential mid-Atlantic thoroughfare into the frigid waters. Several cars were knocked into the Patapsco River as of Tuesday around 11 a.m. Authorities were searching for six construction workers who had been repairing potholes on the bridge. Two others were rescued, one who was briefly hospitalized, and another who declined to go to the hospital. What a fucking... Guy, guy appears to be a Chad, but I feel like if I was on a bridge that collapsed into the water, I would want to go to the hospital. Chat, that's normal. Kusha has reached her 100th year and her Kitsune powers start awakening. Soon she'll get her second tail, too. Oh, my God. My, sec my second tail will soon happen. I've already predicted journalist deaths. Now now it's just a matter of time. <laughs> Props to Dolly for not drawing a crude penis in the harbor. What the fuck? Not, not the canal, people. <laughs> Construction workers like, fuck, my kid is wet. I gotta work tomorrow. 
Imagine your boss calling you like, hey, yo, I know you just survived a bridge collapse, but like you're coming in tomorrow, right? <laughs> For all that is good, don't plan on going on trains. We need at least one form of goods transportation that won't fail because of quantum mechanics. I have bad news for you. I love trains. I love trains and I love going on trains for murder mystery dinner theaters. They're so amazing. I love them. Will I let my chat brush my second tail? Danny D, thank you for the 49. Can I get an insurance policy on you just in case? What the fuck? Baltimore awoke to the tragedy, states of emergency declared by both the mayor and the governor, search and rescue efforts for those missing, a bridge disappeared. Before the collision, the ship's crew notified authorities that the vessel had lost power. That mayday allowed Maryland Transportation Authority police on the highway above to prevent many cars from driving onto the bridge just before the catastrophe. That's actually amazing. If, if, they, if that mayday signal actually managed to alert the police so that they could get there and prevent more people from crossing the bridge. That's really good. However, if that mayday signal went out and the police were on the bridge to stop people from getting onto it, how did the construction workers not know? How did they not get off the bridge? Holy shit, well done. Since, since it sent out that mayday, that's probably a sign that it's not on purpose. Prob probably a sign that it's not on purpose, so probably leaning more towards the accident competency crisis theory. In your city, the local chemical company had a ship literally explode because the employee couldn't read the sign to not store chemicals together, which can create inflammable fumes. Do you mean regular flammable fumes, not inflammable? Not fast enough. Maybe. These people are heroes, Governor Wes Moore said in a morning news conference. They saved lives last night. Moore added that there was no evidence that the collision was a terrorist attack. He vowed that the bridge will be rebuilt, though he noted it was too early to estimate when or at what cost, understandably so. In a White House address Tuesday afternoon, President Joe Biden said the federal government would pay for a new bridge. I expect the Congress to support my effort. This is going to take some time, but the people of Baltimore can count on us to stick with it every step of the way until the port is reopened and the bridge is rebuilt. That's like the most coherent sentence Joe Biden's ever spoken. A few hours after 1.27 a.m. collision, Baltimore Fire Department Chief James Wallace said that the authorities had detected the presence of vehicles in the water by using sonar. Water in the area is about 50 feet deep. Authorities have not determined the precise cause, but U.S. Senator Ben Cardin told the Baltimore Sun in a phone interview that indications point to the vessel losing power, causing it to lose steering. The National Transportation Safety Board is investigating, a spokesperson for the board said. A Coast Guard briefing report obtained by the Sun stated that a harbor pilot and assistant were on board and reported power issues. Multiple alarms are on the bridge and loss of propulsion prior to the incident. This is a tragedy that you could never imagine. It looked like something out of an action movie, Mayor Brandon Scott said at a news conference. Video from the incident shows the container ship, billowing smoke, colliding with the bridge support, and much of the structure quickly collapsing. Just before the collision, the ship's lights appear to turn on and off multiple times. The Singapore-flagged cargo ship named Dali had been traveling about eight knots, which is roughly nine miles per hour, and it was under the operation of a local pilot, as is required by Maryland law, to guide it through the port. The pilot will undergo drug and alcohol testing as part of the investigation. I somehow don't believe that the pilot was drunk or high, probably just incompetent. Your schizo theory, this is a stunt to make Joe Biden look better ahead of the election year? <laughs> okay, that's even more schizo than the terrorism theory. <laughs> Could be wrong, but it looked like the company that manages the ship, among others there, is called the Synergy Marine Group. On the Twitter, they can't shut up about how proud they are to embrace diversity and inclusion. I have one tab for that. I don't, I don't know if people found more stuff on the company. All vehicle traffic has been rerouted from the 1.6-mile steel bridge, which is part of Interstate 695, a key traffic artery in one of Baltimore's three toll crossings. The bridge carried more than 12.4 million commercial and passenger vehicles in 2023, about 34,000 a day, according to a November report. The Port of Baltimore was still processing trucks inside of its terminals, but vessel traffic in and out of the port is suspended, State Transportation Secretary Paul J. Wadefield said. And a Coast Guard report said that the Patapsco River Channel is fully blocked. Sal Merco, Mer Mercogliano, a Campbell soup, university professor and former merchant mariner who hosts a YouTube show on shipping. Oh, is that the guy that we just watched? Is that the guy that we just watched? Said it could take weeks, if not months, to clear the channel of bridge debris and open a lane for ships. 
that is likely to have grave consequences on commerce in the region. We know that we have a long road ahead, not just in search and rescue, but in the fallout from this, Baltimore County Executive Johnny Olszewski Jr. said at a news conference. Dispatchers first reported a possible vehicle in the water at the Key Bridge around 1.40 a.m., according to audio captured by Broadcastify and reviewed by The Sun. About 12 minutes later, a first responder who reached Fort Ant Armistad Peak got on the radio reporting what he saw. Be advised, the entire bridge, the entire key bridge, is in the harbor, the person said. The entire key bridge has fallen into the harbor. Priscilla Thompson, who lives on the water in Dundalk facing the key bridge, was awakened in the middle of the night by the horrible sound of crashing steel. I thought it was an earthquake or something because it shook the house so badly. It shook, it rattled it for four or five seconds, and then it got real quiet. Another nearby resident, John Flansburg, woke up to what sounded like a car crash. It's like there had been a big accident right outside my door. Then I've seen all of this devastation. Jesus Campos is an employee of Bronner Builders, the company with a crew on the bridge when it collapsed. He told reporters in Spanish that police have visited the homes of his fellow crew members who are missing. Campos used to work on the bridge team, but was recently switched to a different shift. I could have been there like my co-workers, he said through a translator. Coast Guard has deployed four boats as well as a helicopter to aid in the search and rescue mission. Several police helicopters were also circling the area. Authorities said that they're using sonar and underwater drones as a part of the rescue efforts. Divers have battled against water temperature, tide, and darkness, Wallace said. National Data Boy Council reported water temperatures in that area of Patapsco were around 49 degrees at 4 a.m. Air temperature 41, winds are light. The ship was built in 2015 and had arrived from Norfolk, Virginia, according to Vessel Finder, a ship tracking website. It left the port of Baltimore around 1 a.m., about a half an hour before the collision. According to statements from the Dolly's owners and managers, all of the ship's 22 Indian crew members and two pilots who were on board have been accounted for and there are no reports of any injuries. Dolly previously collided with a prat plat platform, right array, platform known as Quay while leaving the port of Antwerp in Belgium in July 2016, according to Vessel Finder. That caused significant damage to its hull and it was docked for repairs before returning to duty. So is this that, uh... Is this uh, that uh, they're cheaping out on the repair materials, potentially? And uh, if the crew had an accident before, did they ever get adequate retraining on that? Maybe they'll name a new bridge after Buttigieg, so we won't call it racist. I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, what? It's pronounced Key. It's not Quay. It's Key. It looks like Quay to me. I'm going to pronounce it Quay. <laughs> Cardin said that the immediate focus is search and rescue and added that there weren't too many occupied vehicles on the bridge. There's been no pollution, the ship's manager, Synergy Marine Corps, said. Wallace said authorities had not confirmed if any fuel spilled into the water, but said there had been an odor of diesel fuel. The R. Adams Cowley Shock Trauma Center received one patient from the collapse, according to Michael Schwartzberg, a spokesperson for the University of Maryland Medical Center. Schwartzberg said the patient has been dispatched or dis discharged. Uh, same difference, I guess. <laughs> if you wanted it pronounced key, make it key, not quay. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like Vince McMahone. Nothing in that name shows me it should be pronounced McMahon, you weirdo. So suspect the boat was running straight as piss down the channel until it suddenly yoinked hard to the right. Since they can't steer while the power is off, it could have just been the, the tide in the ocean carrying the ship in that direction, but it seemed to go very, very quickly. You know, like I, I'm, I'm definitely leaning more towards it being you should take your meds. competency meds, right? crisis at this you point. It looks very meds. suspicious, and so it could still be sabotage. But like, as a structural engineer, I did approximate calculation to the force the boat did to the bridge, and I estimated 80 million pounds of force. Keep in mind the plane in 9-11 was 350k pounds. Me, 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 me. I don't want to mod it yet either. I'm gonna put I can't do math, sir. Just a quick PSA for everyone. Get a rescue me keychain off Amazon for like five bucks. They're little combination seat belt cutters and window breakers in case you're ever in a nightmare situation like this bridge. Oh, that does sound helpful. Thank you, war child. Also, so the wind was blowing that, so it can, can contribute to the direction. It wasn't the tide. It might be one engine running while the other wasn't. Maybe. I don't know. Those boats are a million tons plus. Yeah, they are very heavy boats, but that's some heavy metal. I know. 
The Transportation Authority noted on social media the Interstate 95 and 895 tunnels are alternative ways to travel across the harbor. Vehicles transporting hazardous materials, however, are prohibited in tunnels and should use the western section of I-95 around the tunnels the authority posted. Moore said the bridge was fully up to code and a John Hopkins professor of structural and civil engineering who reviewed the video of the incident said he didn't see anything that immediately stood out as a red flag in regards to the bridge structural integrity. I, I feel like even though the bridge was only 50 years old and even if there were issues with the bridge, based on how heavy that ship was, I, I don't think the bridge would have been able to survive it. Let's Let's be a little honest here. Like, I could be wrong, but like... That boat ramming into any bridge, I feel like, would have fucking tanked it. What's the casualty count? Uh, we don't know if there's any casualties at this time. There are six people missing. Didn't the boat guy say something about an anchor being dropped that would steer the ship as well? He did say that they dropped their left anchor, which could contribute to the way that it turned. Ryan, thank you for the $10. Thanks for the fun VODs. Remember, just because you're schizo doesn't mean you're wrong. Happy to catch you live. Welcome! Well, we're not talking about something funny right now, though. To quote your dad, who has sailed container ships for nearly 50 years and captained them for over 45, losing power like that is very common. This is most likely the case of unfortunate events. <laughs> the worst possible place to lose power, especially because there was none of the usual collision protection. <laughs> Help! Oh god. The toothpick bridge I made in 6th grade could have handled the boat. Oh god left didn't the boat steer towards the right did i say left i don't know what direction it turned into whatever direction it turned into to hit the bridge dude <laughs> the sheer amount of momentum with a ship that heavy no bridge could withstand that's what i'm saying like i i don't think there's anything wrong with the bridge like even even if there was i don't think that would have been the cause of the accident either or the cause of it collapsing rather scott key was not french your error he was american his last name is key it's very random wouldn't dropping the left anchor mean it would have had a hard port turn? It did a starboard turn. I don't know. I don't know. You don't think that there was anything wrong with the bridge? <laughs> There's something wrong with it now. The bridge had two supports holding it up. If you take one away, it's not a bridge anymore. Benjamin W. Schaefer told The Sun. We will want to know more. The community will want to know the root of the collapse. But this seems like more of an acute event. Mercogliano, the former merchant mariner, said the video of the event illustrates that something mechanical went wrong. Without power, the piloting crew would have been unable to navigate the ship. When the power goes out, the worst feeling you can have on a ship as a sailor is everything gets quiet. That's the worst, because that's a clear sign that everything is about to go wrong. Before ships leave a dock, they undergo a series of tests to ensure they are seaworthy. Whether Dali had issues before it departed will be a key to the investigation. If that ship would have lost power a minute before or a minute after, it wouldn't have hit the bridge. It just lost power at the exact wrong moment. Which makes it kind of suspicious. Francis Scott Key wrote The Great Gatsby. Oh yeah, that's true. I forgot about that book. Maybe it was Koseki Bijou behind the wheel. I don't know what that is. What's the deal with YouTube membership? What do you mean? Is America going to sue the mercantile company? Here, the YouTube guy states that the propeller torque caused it to keep turning. I don't think that's verbatim what he said. Muzzy Skeleton, thank you for the member. Guess your Amazon packages are not going to be one day delivery. God damn. It's sus as fuck, but also it's fucking Baltimore. Yeah, like, uh... If they, if they undergo a series of tests, I wonder who was... I wonder who was carrying out those tests. Again, more more competency crisis potential. <laughs> F. Scott Fitzgerald did F. Scott Key wrote the national anthem. Concrete column with a what the fuck? I'm not going to believe anything you guys say about anyone's name anymore. <laughs> number 18 is 2.25 inches in diameter. Francis Scott Key wrote the national anthem. F. Scott Fitzgerald wrote the Great Gatsby. The capacity was Francis Scott Key wrote the poem that would become the, the Star Spangled Banner. Excluding gravity loads. You're a moron about the F. Scotts? I can't remember names, so I don't expect other people to. But when I read something in chat, I don't know why I believe you guys anymore. <laughs> it was the gamers. We're responsible. And the Key Bridge, which opened in March 1977 after five years of construction and cost an estimated $110 million, is named for the Marylander who wrote the lyrics for the Star Spangled Banner. Oh, okay. 
We could have we could have just gotten here instead of me reading chat. <laughs> Before daybreak, Tuesday, 50-year-old Loop Lucas and her son stood along the water's edge in Dundalk, gauzy, gazing at the area the key bridge once spanned. The center of the bridge had disappeared, save for a section collapsed on top of the huge, still ship. When the sun rises and there's nothing there, that's going to be heartbreaking for a lot of people. Uncle Hall, thank you for the 499. Fitzgerald was named after Key because they were distant cousins. I just don't believe you. I just don't believe you. Chad is simultaneously the smartest and most retarded person you know. It's an anomaly. True. True and real. And then I had one more tab on this nonsense, I think. I thought I thought I had another tab. Hold on a second. Because I know I know I brought up something that had like the that had the uh the fucking nonsense in it. Oh, maybe it was in my... Oh, okay, I found it. Here we go. Bridge was named after the guy that wrote Pippa the Ripper. What the fuck? <laughs> Our national anthem has a verse, which is banned to sing. I don't remember much about the national anthem, my guy. <laughs> we are the dumbest and the smartest. Gee, it's like we're a bunch of autists. True! Is it already Monday? No, it's Tuesday! You missed the chance for Schrodinger's chat. True and real. According to one calculator, some numbers is how much it's worth with inflation adjustment. That seems like a very big number. Half a billion dollar bridge just collapsed. It doesn't surprise me that it is very expensive. This, uh, I don't know who Young Conservative Federation is, but, uh, they posted this, uh, this thread. Let's meet the commissioners for the port of Baltimore, starting with Kath... Carenthia? What the fuck? Carenthia A. Barber. She knows nothing about ports, but she is a diversity, equity, inclusion, and belonging auditor and consultant. Carenthia A. Barber is a highly regarded consultant, strategist, and speaker with experience in education, human resources, and business. She is the founder and CEO of Professional Development Associates, LLC, a consulting practice that provides leadership and workforce training, coaching, and diversity, equity, inclusion, and belonging audits and consulting. The Baltimore native is a life member of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority and the Baltimore chapter The Links Incorporated, a national service organization of prominent black women. Barbara was appointed to the MPC by Governor Wes Moore in March 2023. Which, like, if she... If she is a commissioner for the Port of Baltimore, why does she not know anything about ports? I feel like that should be a requirement if you're, go if you're going to work there. <laughs> Sandy A. Roberts, an attorney who at the time of his appointment generally knew some ma marine law. Sandy A. Roberts can claim considerable experience in two sectors that both happen to be relevant to the port, corporate law and wholesale business. He is a managing partner at the Roberts Law Group, PLLC, where his practice areas include litigation, real estate, governmental affairs, international transactions, corporate and commercial law, and business advocacy. In addition, Roberts is the president and CEO of Olympic Supply, DBA on-site retailers, a business he formed in 1991. Olympic is an airport concessionaire at BWI Thurgood Marshall Airport, Philadelphia International Airport, among others. Roberts was appointed to the MPC by Governor Wes Moore in June 2023. Scott Webb, the only member who seems to have actual experience in the industry. He looks like a wrestler. M. Scott Webb comes to the commission as a retired member of the International Longshoremen's Association with more than 45 years of experience in the maritime shipping industry. In fact, he is a part of the third generation of his family to work on the waterfront at the Port of Baltimore. During his years with the ILA, Webb actively contributed to various executive leadership decisions that impacted the ILA workforce, including employee relations and equipment management. Webb was appointed to the MPC in February of 2023. It's funny that they don't mention that he was appointed by the same guy that appointed the other two people, and this guy actually seems to have the ability to work there. I sounded just like your Nona. <laughs> Oh, can we get can we get more people with like the experience of this man? Can we do can we do that? Here's the Port of Baltimore's 2023 statement on environmental justice. Port of Baltimore Directory Online. 
Commitment to Environmental Justice in 2023 at the Wild STEM Career Summit. The Harbor City Links presents <gasps> careers in wild by STEM. Trying to inflate my penis like a dick balloon. I want to read that one. Suspicious because it happened just right. Well, not really. Situations of this level are often perfect storms because no protection is perfect. Something will find a way through. Could more be done? Sure, but eventually it's all retrospective views. That's weird. That's weird that you said that as soon as we're talking about the ESG failed port authorities that were working there. <laughs> Held on February 25th was a major success. Students from Coppin State University and Morgan State University were exposed to opportunities and careers in STEM, sustainability, and maritime industries. Hosted at Brown University, organized by Harbor, La Harbor City Links and Masonville Cove Partnerships, in collaboration with the National Wildlife Federation, the event was also a great opportunity to recruit potential members of the Lynx Incorporated, an African-American women's group, to one of the dredged material management program committees. I don't know what dredged material management is. Wild STEM was tailored to further the Maryland Port Administration's DMMP annual report, 2022 recommendations on environmental justice to prioritize environmental justice by engaging with stakeholders to recruit DMMP committee members who reflect the diversity of near port communities and three create equitable success or equitable access to DMMP sites to engage youth in educational programs as a pathway to thriving career opportunities. And I'm a, I'm a little confused here, right? The DMMP is the, the Dredged Material Management Program. Recruit committee members for it who reflect the diversity of the Neoport communities. I don't think their skin color fucking matters or how close to the port they live fucking matters if they don't have the knowledge to be working there. That doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense. And I kind of want to... I kind of want to look up what this is. U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. News and updates, this is probably not the correct thing. Maryland here, though. Dredged Material Management Program. Dredging makes it possible for some of the largest cargo ships in the world to do business in Baltimore. All right, okay. All right, okay. It's a whole lot of sediment. Ha, 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 ha. It's the Masonville Cove that they mentioned. Investing in innovation for the future. Bridge lives matter. Goddamn. Committee meetings, oversight meeting, committee meeting, future future solutions maybe, future dredge material solutions, innovative reuse, web tool, <gasps> Today I fucked beneficial up, use, to fact sheet. My penis like a dick balloon. I want to read that one. Hmm. As a seaman, I have much to say, but only so much I can write. Companies care only for money, so reporting that something is wrong with the vessel that will impact its schedule is a big no-no. Maybe they knew something was wrong but could not do anything. Committees? Committees? Mm, they don't have any, like, outward DEI statements on their website, thankfully. Dredged up Baltimore. What the heck? You remember Seaman for the Dreamcast? I don't. I don't. I don't remember that. Check out their bios here. Okay, maybe he has more information. That sounds like what caused the Challenger disaster. Port of Baltimore? That looks photoshopped in. I've seen some photoshop jobs in my time. <laughs> The Maryland Port Commissioner was formed to establish policies that will improve the competitive position of the Port of Baltimore within the intentional maritime industry. Members of the MPC are appointed by the governor and are asked to serve at least a three-year term. Current members are, we've read their profiles. Below, learn more about the three newest ones. Highly regarded consultant, strategist, and speaker with experience in education. You're the CEO of Professional Development Associates, a consulting firm. What sort of work does the firm do for its clients? The firm provides a range of capacity building services designed to support individuals and organizations in becoming more effective and efficient. The organizational development division includes change management, team building, DEIB, and organizational assessment via surveys, focus groups, and performance data. Then there's the management and leadership division, which we design and facilitate training programs for employees at all levels of the organization. Our coaching services provide the support and accountability to help individuals move from where they are to where they would like to be. 
I personally serve as a coach or an advisor to a number of CEOs and elected officials, as well as folks who aspire to be in the elected office. How do the skills you use as a consultant apply to your service on the Maryland Port Commission? My extensive background as a leader and consultant brings a valuable, multifaceted set of skills to my role as Port Commissioner. As a consultant, I work with organizations of all types and sizes, representing a broad range of diversity. She was, she was asked how her skills help her at the Port Commission, and she was like, I do diversity. I, wa <laughs> I am adept at quickly assessing a situation, identifying any potential challenges, and developing strategies for implementation. Whether it's envisioning the future through strategic planning or making informed decisions based on data, I don't think any of these people make any informed decisions based on data. Like, anytime you try to talk to any of these people about statistics and data, they usually recoil pretty, pretty sufficiently. These are all competencies I bring to the role. In addition, my background has positioned me to understand complex organizational dynamics, establish budgets, oversee hiring and performance management and stakeholder engagement, all skills that align seamlessly with the demands of serving as port commissioner. We all know what the established budgets are for. We've read about it with Bridge. We've read about it with Sweet Baby. Uh, we know what these budgets are for. And we know that overseeing hiring and performance management uh, means not what it's saying. In addition, my commitment to relationship building adds an essential human touch to the work, fostering a collaborative atmosphere that continues to the overall success of the port. In your work on the commission, is there anything new you've learned about the port? My <gasps> father... I up by trying to inflate my penis like a dick balloon? I want to read that father. one. When I said about burning bridge, I didn't mean this particular bridge. <laughs> it's the wrong bridge! You need to burn the company, not this one, and burn metaphorically by espousing things that come directly from their mouths. I get... Man, I get so angry when I see tweets on Twitter about people being like, Oh, sweet baby has gone mask off. The games journalists are, are saying are saying the thing finally. We never knew about this. And it's like, no, the mask has been off for a fucking while, you guys. The mask has been off for a fucking while. Please, please someone with like reach that's not an anime woman talk about bridge. I swear to fuck. I'm going to lose my goddamn mind. I'm going to lose my goddamn mind. Sink the bridge. Please pay attention. Please pay attention. There was never a mask. My father dedicated over 30 years to the Port of Baltimore as a member of the International Longshoremen's Association. Thus, I was familiar with many aspects of the work associated with the port. However, as commissioner, I've learned a lot about our port's broader economic impact through the Mid-Atlantic region. How the fuck are you going to be like, yeah, I, I have the necessary knowledge to work here because my father dedicated 30 years of his life to the port. My father's been a glazer his entire fucking life. My father's worked in construction for ages. I've helped him on like remodeling the kitchen, but do I know jack shit about glazing or construction? Not really, no. Could I, could I reasonably assist someone who's trying to put up glasswork? Like... A gajillion feet in the air on a skyscraper? No! No way in hell I could do that! <laughs> Obvious you do! <laughs> Riz up Asmund to talk about Bridge? I- I don't think... He would notice me messaging him? I mean, like, maybe he would, but I don't know. It would- it would be a wondrous, momental occasion if I could get Asmund to talk about Bridge. Uh, if I could, if I could do that, uh, there was one of his videos I wanted to watch today because it was like it was an interesting take on things. But <laughs> giving up too soon, you never know unless you give it a shot. I think that's too scary. I think that's too scary for me. Make a clip and set it to his Reddit. That's the problem with the bridge shit, is that there's no reasonable way to like clip it down into a React content sized <laughs> bite, right? Like, uh, th there's just too much information, and if you leave out certain things, it allows bad actors to come in and be like, Well, this is just a conspiracy theory. There's no- there's no evidence of this exactly. Notice me, senpai. Don't be afraid, just message him. Uh, better bring this up to academic agent. Didn't the Spoonman say he would introduce you? Maybe? I don't remember. Asma's at least aware of my existence? He's probably forgotten. I'm gonna be real with you. <laughs> 
You don't even like Asmongold, but even you think that I ought to just message him already? You seething fem cell! I was just like, I'm glad that Asmon has basically outed the journalist for the liars that they are using his platform. Very happy about that because he's got like a massive normie audience. And now way more people know that journalists not only are lying to them, but literally hate them. But it's just like, it's not just about gaming. It's not just about that one industry. And, and I know we can't care about all things at all times, but if you're focusing too hard on what the games journalists are doing, the rest of it's going to go forward while the games journalists keep you distracted and you're not going to gain any ground. You're not going to change anything. You're not going to fix anything. You, you voting with your wallet and not buying video games is not going to change what Bridge is doing. It has to be a concerted effort on our part, just like it's a concerted effort on theirs. What are you waiting for? Do it. <laughs> Spoonman wasn't there, but his co-host was part of the original Gamergate, Iden. In many ways, those people dug deeper and got political, or they went insane. <laughs> Gain ground. That's a good game. I've never heard of it. <laughs> I've never heard of it. Uh, Pyro the Demon Lord, they give the $5. The cast of the Unsubscribe podcast have started talking about Sweet Baby. I could try reaching out to them, too. I mean, maybe. I don't know, man. I don't know. Did I see the new Microsoft thing about ha not having curvy women? I have that in a tab somewhere, too. Intersectional brid brid bridge building. Which bridge are y'all talking about? The company. I've learned that the Port of Baltimore ranks first in the nation in handling automobiles, light trucks, farm and construction machinery, as well as imported gypsum. The port ranks second in the country for exporting coal and sixth for coffee. Lastly, I've learned that the Maryland Port Administration had the most amazing staff of hardworking and dedicated employees. I just like, man, dude. <laughs> man does not sound like she has the knowledge to be working there. That's very, that's very disheartening. What a scam! Yeah. And it's like these these companies renaming DEI as like DEIB or like Jedi or whatever. Do not do not get confused. Do not get lost in the acronyms. This is again why I beat on Bridge's head so fucking hard. Bridge is not a simple renaming of DEI. Bridge was the company monitoring how well DEI was doing. Bridge was monitoring it and deciding what to do with DEI. And their conclusion was the way that we went about DEI thus far, the way that DEI was a marketing tactic, the way that it was just pushed in advertising or in marketing or in ways that people did things on social media, the way that DEI just changes acronym and people will check a box, it was not enough. Bridge is what the future of DEI is. And if people don't start talking about it, you will not have your video games. You will not have products to buy in your everyday life. Equity of pricing is already becoming a thing. Part, part of the bridge initiative is to set up diversity, equity, and inclusion as the DNA in a company. You are going to have equity of price and equity of availability, depending on your skin color or your gender or where you live. And if that sounds dystopian, Good. You should be worried about that. And it's like, it's, it sucks that it's happening, but we have to pay attention to it. You can't have my video games. You don't want to eat the diverse bugs. Should make a wiki to keep tabs on this. Yeah, I mean, I, I have a whole bunch of information, but it's not, it's not the most organized. I've tried my best to organize it, but again, I am just one foxu. I am just one woman. Uh, that has to do everything <laughs> in my own life, all right? You mostly just play indie games anyway? Yeah. Just, just because you mostly play indie games doesn't mean you shouldn't pay attention to this. Uh, it's just like having, having the attitude of like, oh, well, I don't buy AAA games. I only buy indie, so I don't need to worry about any of this. The indie games are also affected. The indie developers are also affected. And again... It's not going to matter if you vote with your wallet in just video games if you're not paying attention to what Bridge is doing. Oh god, one fox woman and she has to organize it with numbers! I know. I know. She's but one brain damaged fox who... Wait until your platform provider says you're out of white people credits for the year? Pretty much. Pretty much. 
You will own no foxu. You will own a foxu. Do I do I have the tab on the uh on the equitable bullshit? No, this is a P tab. This is a P tab. That's some dumb bitch. Uh let's see. That's not it. That's not it. I had it. I had it somewhere. It might be. It might be in the browser that I can't open without crashing my stream. <laughs> it might be in that browser, unfortunately. Um, maybe. Maybe I could. Let's uh. That's in auctions. Uh, non-profit, no. No, I probably can't find it. Oh, man. I don't know who fucking tweeted it either. Ha! Huh. There was a- there was a Twitter post. There was a- there was hell yeah, sick tune! There was a Twitter post, and there was this woman who was already instituting equitable pricing and scaling depending on your race, but I can't remember what- I can't remember what company she was working for, I can't remember what product she was selling. I had it in a tab somewhere, but it must it must be in my browser that I can't open right now. Can't Kirsha ask her pet Korean to install the RAM? I, I have to I have to plan out uh, how many how many things I ask uh, my pet Korean for in a, in a time period because like every time uh, there's like an argument, so like I just, I try not to I try not to ask for too many things. I think it was a bakery. Was it a bakery? I don't I don't know. If somebody has the link, I would I would appreciate it. But like I don't, I don't remember where that tab is, dude. I was I was. Uh, mentally destroyed today so don't let your woman brain get in the way of using my it was brain just a to bake sale things. i mean they did the they did the equitable pricing bake sale as a joke years ago uh there was like some some group at a college that tried setting up uh like an equitable bake sale and then a young conservative group made fun of them by doing the same thing equitable pricing is a nightmare it is it is well watching my stream ruin your larry fink esg social credit <laughs> imagine there was some feminist bar that charged men more and it's out of business now. Just claim to be profoundly mentally disabled to subvert instead of being a bunch of bombastic, clinically brain damaged people. The solution is to infiltrate the organizations and damage the DNA like a cancer. Become an inoperable tumor within these organizations. Yeah, and it's like calling, calling these people out on it is very, very important as well. You remember an anarchist coffee shop that worked on the pay what you can principle and went out of business because the commies didn't pay for their coffee? Yes. Yes. This one? If this if this happened like oh, yesterday, so zero, shame. then yes. If it wasn't yeah, from yesterday, yeah, then yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me let me open the link. This is a public service announcement. Keisha August 2017, Shatter, no. Super mega duper cute and wonderful less than three. You are not diverse enough for this discount, sir. I'm I'm like really upset that I'm talking about this and I don't have the information in front of me. <laughs> oh my god. You know that drinking water and laying on your stomach for 10 minutes eliminates hiccups? No, it doesn't. You're gonna... You're gonna look into the thing? I don't know what you're looking into. People cannot implement equitable pricing when you literally cannot afford to rent a broom closet! Amber Crazy, thank you for the $10. There's no way equitable pricing will hold up in court. It's a blatant violation of both 14th Amendment and Civil Rights Act, and no amount of redefining words would change that. Yeah, but affirmative action has been a thing for how long? And if affirmative action has been a thing for how long, why do you think that they wouldn't be able to pass other weasel word nonsense? And if it's, if it's something that they're already trying to do in their corporate DNA style push, what makes you think they wouldn't be allowed to do it when they basically control the court system in the first place? Like, I think you're having a little bit too much faith in the system right now. <laughs> Affirmative action was shut down by the SCOTUS. Yeah, and all of these people read out of their mind when it happened. But how long did we have affirmative action as something that we just accepted in our society? Hiccups go away for you when you raise your hands for a few minutes. That doesn't work for me either. Maybe try the cursed browser now. I don't want to crash my stream again. I don't want to crash it. I don't I don't want to crash it. But uh let's see, what else what else do I have what uh, what else do I have open right now? I have this. More to the point, how will they determine race for these discrimination programs? 
Are they gonna make you take a DNA test to know how much to charge you? No, they're probably just gonna go by what you look like. That's why that's why light skin privilege is gonna is gonna kick in again, you know? Just remind yourself that you're not a fish and the hiccups will go away. How many words have we watched change meaning in real time in the last eight years? Weasel words are the bread and butter. Yep. Yep. So Speaking of all the sweet baby nonsense going down, this is this is the, the most recent thing where people have been like, oh my god, they're finally going mask off. BBC Gaming presenter Jules Hardy calls for a current Sweet Baby Inc. discourse to end with a final purge of ideological opponents from the medium. Now that doesn't uh, that doesn't surprise me. That doesn't uh, that doesn't surprise me here. In the view of you BBC Gaming presenter Jules Hardy. Like I'm a real I would download a Foxu. I don't care what the government says. Also, why were you mentally destroyed today? Further, this stuff happening with the gaming industry is a microcosm of the larger culture, so it's important to take note. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what I was saying. And I, I went over it on the beginning of stream. I was very fucking angry when I started stream, so I was I was in a bit of a bit of an angry ranting mood. In the view of the BBC gaming presenter Jules Hardy, the best way for the current discourse surrounding Sweet Baby Inc. to resolve itself would be with a final purge of those players who are critical of the general presence of diversity, equity, and inclusion-focused consultation companies within the video game industry. Hardy, perhaps best known to viewers of the government-funded British programming network for her having served as the host of 2021's Top Gear Gaming Show and 2017's The Gaming Show, shared her opinion on the aforementioned debate on March 22nd in response to a tweet from the narrative consultation company Black Girl Gamers. This man looks highly suspicious. Oh, highly suspicious. <laughs> oh, is that Will? It is Will Wheaton! No wonder he looks highly suspicious. <laughs> Oh my god! Purge how? Retweeting a now deleted post from user at Becky, bunch of numbers, in which they proposed the creation of a Steam curator page similar to Sweet Baby Inc. Detected Group, meant to inform customers of the games in which black girl gamers had worked on. Black girl gamers, you wanted to defend Sweet Baby Inc. with all you could possible, wrote that user. Here is your page because you wanted to finish Sweet Baby Inc. Spelling. When I know that you both work together on projects and force DEI is nothing more than racism. Black girl gamers mocked, we really got you pressed by just existing, lol. I think what I hate the most of all of these people is how smug they are about it, right? They can be this smug because nobody's really tried doing much against them on a large scale previously. They're just like, we know you're going to lay down and take it. We know you have nothing to worry about. So we can gloat and we can smile and we can pretend you're all upset babies. Very elitist of them, right? We've never worked with Sweet Baby Inc. You all saw Black and Consulting and decided that we all work together. Then they accused, sounds like racism. We're not stopping, so have fun. They... Doesn't matter if you're directly actually working with them, but it's, it's like if you are the same kind of company, that is what matters. What is this? Go away. Taking notice of Black Girl Gamer's attempt at a public clapback, Hardy would eventually retweet the company's post and ask her followers, can we agree that for round two of this, obviously talking about Gamergate, it can be the final purge of these kinds of gamers. It's 2024. It's current year. Hardy added, I've been arguing about this for decades. Can we have a last full detox of these dudes so we can get back to the positive gaming community we have been creating? Can we, can we get rid of all of the dissenting people who don't agree with our ideology so we can have our perfect little utopia that we've always wanted? Can we just, can we just get rid of these people? You know, just, gotta, just get them out. Get them out. We don't want them here. As an aside, it should be noted that while there currently exists no public record of Black Girl Gamers and Sweet Baby Inc. having worked side by side, as noted by Becky, the former has stood in defense of the latter amidst their recent backlash. Asked by a supporter on March 6th to refrain from engaging with YouTuber The Act Man's very late discovery regarding Sweet Baby Inc.'s actual reach and operation. I didn't even know The Act Man talked about Sweet Baby. What the fuck? <laughs> I've... I've been 
talking about them since like Alan Wake's release, dude. I just I didn't I had no idea that that guy even spoke anything on them. I thought he was busy talking about like pronouns with some other YouTuber. You wonder if the brainlets realize what they're asking for and if they even know what Stalin and Mao's purges resulted in. They probably do know what they're asking for, but they feel that they are part of the ruling class. So therefore, anything they do will not come back to bite them. That was the whole heels bullshit. Yeah, all I remember about the heels bullshit was that they were fighting. I had no idea it had anything to do with Sweet Baby Inc. <laughs> Ackman did when he had to walk back on the shit he talked about as in Heels vs. Babyface. I thought they were just like fighting over some dumb YouTube drama. I had no idea it had to do with Sweet Baby. Kirsha, inform Aiden about Bridge. She's got a doctorate of gaming. What is, what is a what is doctorate of gaming? That will make her piss boil and her audience is 100% about long form analysis content. She can parse the BS. I think, I think like, if, if I go on someone else's show to talk about bridge again I, I would like to actually be able to get through everything involving bridge right like even even if i can't go through all of the information but i i, I don't want to be like interrupted midway through and only get through like you know a, a couple of the articles and then and then just like nothing else happens you get a doctorate for gaming when you finish your underwater feminist basket weaving website? What the heck? What the heck? Uh, where where was I? Honestly, we've been doing this for years and trolls always come, but for us, it's not necessarily about feeding them, it's about showing an opposing narrative. Because sometimes non-endemic companies and agencies will go online, see time? one perspective, and take it as gospel. It's also in defense of Sweet Baby Inc., who worked in a similar lane to us, who do great work, they added. It's nice to see solidarity when being attacked online. It also shows our audience who to block, too. And it's wild to me that these people will, you know, just boldface twist words. And this Becky person said, Black Girl Gamers, you wanted to defend Sweet Baby Inc. with all you could possible. Here's your page. Uh, because you wanted to finish Sweet Baby in when I know that you both work together on projects. Okay, so this person, this person did actually say... You both work together. And this is this is why if you are going to attempt at engaging these smear merchants, you have to be very, very careful about what you say. And I guarantee you, the majority of people are not uh, capable of choosing their wording carefully enough to do wordplay with these disingenuous fucks. Because as soon as you say something wrong, that you both work together on projects that's wrong, the rest of the statement doesn't matter. They will continue to say, you lied about us working together, therefore your entire argument has no merit. And that will go through every single journalist and every single developer and they will circle the wagons and they will say, these people are wrong and they are harassing us. Look at the lies that they're telling. So it's like, you have to be very, very sure when you speak out against these people that you're not saying something that can easily be proven wrong. You have to basically be a lawyer to talk to these people. Yeah, basically. Which is which is why when when Grums made that tweet ages ago, and I'm I'm sad he deleted it. He said, "Don't engage with these people," and that is the best thing that you can do, because as soon as an average person engages with these people who are known to lie, who are known to twist the truth, who are not genuine people, they will use your words to attack the entire movement of people trying to call them out your words will become cornerstone even if you're some like two follower literal who on twitter they will use your words to paint it on everyone point and laugh from the outside hi when they give the 10 canadians basically he was mad about the forced dei lower quality and blew up on pronouns as a point of contention ackman mocked as and wished all games would have dei built in every game to piss him off more what a fucking idiot what an absolute moron. What the hell? <laughs> what the hell? Screenshots, no directly adding people. When I, uh, when I, let me go back to my page because I can't remember exactly what I tweeted out. Where is it? Where is it? When I, when I tweeted out this Alyssa Mercante tweet and I, and I was talking about the, the dirty, dirty smear merchants just literally lying and she's now pivoting from directly lying to cover her own ass to now trying to smear people <laughs> like Asmongold and Melanie Mack. Who knows who else she's going to try and make a smear piece on? 
after I posted this, I didn't at her. I, d I have nothing here that would alert her to my existence. I was blocked immediately after this. <laughs> which, which is kind of hilarious, honestly. Because it's like, how... How did you even find me? <laughs> I can't imagine I get pushed in her feed. This is why you have a hard time trying to talk to people both online and in real life. Yeah. Yeah, no one claimed Act was smart and it showed the moment he came for Az. I don't know who either of them are, but like, Jesus Christ. Probably automatic block list. No, it's definitely not an automatic block list because she only blocked me after this tweet. I would have been on that block list previously because of the people I follow, if that was the case. I look forward to your hit piece. <sighs> Malcolm Liang, thank you for the two. Ah, the journo is speedrunning a Gawker lawsuit. Yeah, no, the bot, the bot would not have been able to flag me for the people I follow because I would have been blocked prior to making this tweet. And also, I didn't have her name. This is a screenshot. I didn't have her name written in the text of my tweet. So again, there's zero way that she would have been able to do a bot network for this. Another crack in the who armor. I mean, I don't really count it as a crack in the who armor, but you know, but you know, <laughs> there's, there's more of this. Don't keep feeding the trolls. We've been doing this for years. Blah, blah, blah. We read that. Oh, that's the end of this article. That's the end of this article. And that kind of, that kind of brings me to uh, where she posted the tweet here. Uh, Jules Hardy saying, can we agree that for round two of this, we get the final purge? Melanie responded, AKA, you want to purge real gamers in favor of activists who can't hang in a multiplayer lobby without having a meltdown or who can't navigate a single player game without yellow paint, shiny ledges, and the character telling them what to do. Jules responded, nah, I want to purge the hate and vitriol from gamers who refuse to allow gaming to evolve and adapt as we humans are doing. I have no problem with opposing viewpoints, but hate violence and aggressive behavior isn't okay in any realm you live within and this is again weasel wording because they say they have no problems with opposing viewpoints but all of the opposing viewpoints from the ones that they hold they consider to be hateful violent and aggressive and especially since these people tend to dehumanize those who disagree with them it's further pointing that she's trying to say this just to save face just to just to kind of trick people who are not in the know to taking her side and grums here making a also good point you said final purge you taught us to take everything literally you told us bloodbath meant an actual bloodbath and for years you told us context doesn't matter why should we change the standards you set when you do it because these people don't have any standards they will they will attack you for your principles and your beliefs even if they are directly opposed to them because they feel that they can control you based on the things that you believe in. If they are going to fight dirty, if they are going to do by any means necessary, you can't continuously take the high ground. They have drawn the lines in the sand and if you don't meet them there, you're not going to win anything. Is it protein time? It is. It is. Guardian Dark Angel, thank you for the two-month member. As Heels versus Babyface and Act Man are both remnants of the original skeptic community during Gamergate 1. Oh, that's probably why I don't remember their names. Dustblight, thank you for the nine-month member. Thank you for being born. Evolving human viewpoints. Dear Lord, sounds dehumanizing. Yeah, they're on the right side of history. You know? It's just like, it's just like that guy that yelled at me that I would never find anyone to love me because of my archaic, outdated, homophobic ideals of not wanting to date a man who fucks men. Gordo Gamer, they gill for the nine month member. Rev just posted a video with that Jules Hardy Make tweet the in the thumbnail and just a couple of minutes ago. Wild! What the heck? <laughs> real, real bro bot death beam. Thank you for the subby bubby. Thank you. As a Bostonian girl living in Georgia, which is better, Little Debbie or Tasty Cakes? Neither, because they're filled with corn syrup slop. Yuri talked about the solution. I have a good clip of that in your schizo post. And I have to go down your schizo post because I feel like it is a good time to do so. But I also have schizo posts to read as well. And I don't want to, I don't want to forgo those again. I don't want to, I don't want to forgo those again. But I am going to grab protein. So I will be back in a few minutes. I'll be back, I'll be back, I'll be back in a few minutes. If you're not subbed to me on Twitch, uh, thank you for sitting through some advertisements so we can disable the pre-roll ads. I only play ads when I'm AFK, so nobody misses any content. Nothing, nothing gets interrupted. So I'll be right back. Go get, go get snackies. Go stretch your legs. I'll be RB. 
I'm getting protein. BRB, BRB. What what the fuck?
Ah, wa 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 wa. Holy shit, that is amazing. Remember, everyone, do not the Corsha. Wait, hold on. You spelled not wrong. Hold on. Smile, smile, guy. Thank you for thank you for the member. Thank you. Scatter, scatter. I'm back. Scatter, chatter. You like coffee? If you like coffee, you'd probably like bit of chocolate with salt. <clears throat> I don't- I don't know if I'd want to put salt in my coffee, but, you know. The steel drum mon. I like the steel drums. I like it. I like my old background music. My tongue is a little bit swollen because I bit it in my sleep last night. But I'm gonna do my best, chat. I'm- I'm gonna do my best for you. <coughs> Bit of chocolate with salt is tasty. <laughs> I gotta go to... Gotta go to... The spooky place. The spooky archivey place. Oh god. Hey. Comfy intermission music. It do be. Ah. Oh, I immediately go into the not safe for work archive and there's a roll cake. It's so cute. It's so cute. Dreaming of cannibalism again. I've had so many fucking cannibal streams. It's kind of funny at this point. Uh, it's like, I've, I've talked about cannibalism more than I've talked about sounding, and yet somehow I am still known as the sounding chuba. How do you bite your tongue when you sleep? I don't know, but it happens pretty often to me. Ryan, thank you for your member. Thank you for member. All right, we're at the, we're at the schizo posting. I gotta go to the pins. I pinned something where I was last lifting off tin tim pam pam pam. And then I uh, I make this big. I make this big. And then I I got a the three hundred. I didn't forget the three hundred chat. I didn't forget. I didn't forget. Discord, transform, edit, transform. 300. Done. Open. Bigoo! I got a... Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. This is, this is probably good. Your chillet arrived today? You'll post pics in the Discord? I can't wait till mine arrives. Tim's gonna be so mad that I have another giant stuffed animal to take up the space. Oh, God. Use a sounding rod as a fork for your human meat? Don't do that. What's wrong with you? You can bite your tongue plenty, it's a nervous tick, and if you have one of those, they might be a result of the past shit that happened, so resolving shit might help it go away, but it's not weird. You need a 20-pound chillette? I need- I need a chillette that doubles as a weighted blanket. It's schizo time. Yeah, I'm, I hope I can do different voices, because, like, again, my tongue is swollen on the left side, and I'm sure you can hear it a little bit when I say some sh words. You can hear, you can hear my tongue being all You know what I'm saying? Do you get you, are you picking up what I'm putting down? When drunk, you have bit the shit out of your tongue when attempting to eat some bagel bites. What the heck? I haven't had a bagel bite in a really long time. I used to hate the taste of bagel bites, though. But I didn't want to, like, you know, be rude when my grandma would buy them. So I would eat them. But bagel bites basically just tasted like fucking cardboard with sauce on them. Kish's tongue is flapping in the wind. My tongue doesn't make wet flapping noises, I'm sorry. One one day I will learn to be as wet as Fillion. I uh <laughs> Why why are there diaper posting schizo posts in my in in my in my requests here? Whoever some some whoever said specific nervous tics are a result of trauma is a clown. They're pure physical habit that you can change. Also, usually an energy fidget, not nervous tic. I mean, there there are nervous tics that are a result of like issues as well. It's not it's not like it's completely out of left field. Is this about the Gura merch thing? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Does are there any are there any Wemmy watchers in the chat? Does she actually like diapers? <laughs> Average Wemmy enjoyer. All right, who let the crinklers in? <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Wemmy, no. <laughs> Not that I know of. 
ask we sentient toilet he would know? I'm sorry, who? I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, what? Do you not think she's does? She's grown up enough to take care of goats. Oh, let me go. That's cute. That's cute. I'm going to cut off the end of this. I'm going to cut off the end of this. That's a little too far for me. All right. Okay. And like, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to make people feel weird. You know, Wemmy's sentient toilet. It's her clipper. Oh, so this is probably a schizo post by him. <laughs> I'm here for my crook, crook kinkling mad. Oh, I'm sorry. What? Ryan, they give the two dollars. If I eat a spoonful of horseradish, it'll help with my swollen tongue. I don't have horseradish, and I'd probably vomit from the taste. Am I feeling well? You've been lurking here and there. You want to make sure I'm okay? I'm not okay, dude. I'm not okay at all. I I am so far away from being okay. It's not even funny. But I have to keep going. The light inside may be broken, but I still work. Hold on, yeah. Let's see. G going to school with Wemmy. Wemmy asks you to stay after class. It It is break time now, so you wonder if you've done something wrong and are getting detention. She takes you into the storage room behind her desk and locks the door. She pulls her skirt up, revealing a big padded diaper. Then she squishes it. She smirks at you. It asks you to get on the floor for your punishment for talking during class. You do as she asks, because secretly, you have a crush on your teacher the whole time. She slides herself up your chest. She's finally above you. You look up, and all you can see is her big squizzy diaper under her leather skirt. Are you ready for Wemmy's <laughs> present? I'm not reading the rest of it. <laughs> I'm not reading the rest of it. For those of you who have no idea what the fuck is going on, <laughs> during the Donathon, I said I would uh, ASMR read schizo posts. And, uh, man, there are a lot of them. Are you having a stroke? <laughs> what, what does this one say? What does this one say? There's a there's a no-no word that I can't say on Twitch, so I'm skipping that one. <laughs> if you include slurs in your schizo post, I'm just gonna skip them. <laughs> Microwaved diaper challenge. Hey, yo! We're not pampa chewing in here. I'm making you want to end yourself? Well, luckily for all of the new friends, ASMR requests have been turned off for a hot fucking minute. Unluckily for new friends. Tell the almighty lowly that pegging posting is gay and stop saying you gotta pee because I get weird feelings and I don't like it. What? <laughs> what? Kaz, thank you for the five dollars? You hate your state's most search fetish or diapers? Oh, that's disgusting. Oh no, ASMR session at some point? Yeah, but my ASMRs are like jokes, you know? Let's see, what is- what is this one? What is this one? Close the fucking tabs, you psychopath! Thank you, Keish. I thought I might have to order uh. food tonight, but now um, I won't have to worry about being hungry. You're welcome! This- this post glows like fuck, Skewky. Where did you even find this? This has- this has hello fellow children written all over it. <laughs> Honestly, though, speaking of being new to and quite impressed to Kirshi through the pink rabbit, I'm only coming to the conclusion that pink rabbit is actually pulling the sort of basic bitch chameleoning many double X chromosomers do for their man until he leaves them. But instead, in her case, it's just to pander to old friends as a niche, just to spread her brand that if that proves true, she's then a hypocrite for her despising pink cat so much for her betrayal for her eventually doing the same when she used to be the same 
a decade ago when she actually has so many unculturally dutiful, not that based, subversive views, as well as maybe treasonous statements for her fellow Dixians like myself that she lets out sometimes without realizing it. If you pay attention, I'm pretty done with it. Honestly, has kind of ruined the fun for me with Pippa. I don't appreciate being pandered to as though I'm some low IQ rube, which is another thing. But I'm pretty sure she has she has Pipkin meme reflects reality pretty well. As I think I also likely deduced she probably doesn't have a very high IQ. Or knowledge on high culture. Just mostly pop culture. I'm deeply impressed by my belief experience with y'all in Kirsi's chat and herself. Now I'm hoping this will be more my vibe I'll find over time. Mental gin. Smiley face. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is the kind of like anti-schizo posting uh, she's like what is wrong with you man <laughs> that's the post someone joined the discord and posted and not safe for work and then left after it was funny no one reacted to it other than a meds emote good good because that man needs to take his meds even though it probably wouldn't fucking help him <laughs> i was just like i hate i hate when people try to do some like comparison shit between creators who are friends I was just like, what the fuck are you doing? I was like, I'm not better than Pippa. Pippa's not better than me. We're friends. We like each other. Why would you try to do some weird competition shit? That's Jeffrey, right? <laughs> that dude needs some pussy. This is huge. What the fuck? This is huge. I don't know if I should read the whole thing because it's huge, but like I could try. <laughs> These people need to go outside and touch grass. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Wall of text. Look at the picture! See the skull? The part of the bone removed? The master race Frankenstein radio controls? The brain thoughts broadcasting radio? The eyesight television? The Frankenstein earphone radio? The threshold brainwash radio? The latest new skull reforming to contain all Frankenstein controls? Even in the thin skulls of white Pedigree males, visible Frankenstein controls, the synthetic nerve radio directional antennae loop. Make copies of yourself. There is no escape from this worse gangster police state using all of the deadly gangster Frankenstein controls. In 1965, CIA gangster police beat me bloody, dragged me in chains from Kennedy, New York airport. Then I hide in forced jobless poverty, isolated alone in this low deadly basketball town old house. The brazen, deadly gangster police and puppet underlings spray me with poison nerve gas from automobile exhaust and even lawnmowers. Deadly assaults, even in my yard with knives, even bricks and stones, even deadly touch tabbing or electric shock flashlights, even remote electronically controlled round corner projection of deadly touch terrain. Angela spiders or even bloody murder accidents to shut me up forever with a sneak undetectable extermination even with trained parroting puppet assassins in maximum security insanity prison waiting for these unforgivable truths until my undetectable extermination I Francis E deck Esquire 
I stand alone against your mad, deadly, worldwide, conspiratorial, gangster, computer god, communism, with wall-to-wall, -wall, deadly gangster protection, lifelong sworn conspirators, murder, Incorporated organized crime, the police and judges, the deadly sneak parroting puppet gangsters using all the gangster deadly Frankenstein controls. These hangman rope sneak deadly gangsters, the judge and the police trick, trap, rob, wreck, butcher, and murder the people to keep them terrorized in gangster Frankenstein earphone radio slavery. For the communist gangster computer god that controls you as a terrorized gangster Frankenstein earphone radio slave. Parroting puppet! You are a terrorized member of the master race, worldwide four billion eyesight television camera guinea pig, communist gangster computer god, master race, you're living! Thinking, mad, deadly worldwide communist gangster computer god, secret overall plan, worldwide living death Frankenstein slavery to explore and control the entire universe with the endless stairway to the stars, namely the man-made inside-out planets with nuclonic powered speeds much faster than the speed of light. Look up and see the gangster computer god concocted new fake starry sky. The worldwide, completely controlled, deadly, degenerative climate and atmosphere through the new world, translucent, exotic, gaseous envelope, which the worldwide communist gangster computer god manipulates through the countless exactly positioned satellites. The new fake phony stars in the synthetic sky for ages before Frankenstein controls Interbreedable with apes had no alphabet. A stroke? <laughs> I don't think I should continue reading that. <laughs> Not even numerals. <clears throat> oh my God, he's figured it all out. Brilliant performance. Thank you. Just reading it will give you a stroke. Don't stop. Oh, baby. Don't stop. Get it. Get it. Powerful, deadly truth angel. At least 10 references to the communist gangster computer god. I kind of felt like when I was reading that weird anal post from the other day on Quora. <laughs> well, they, they said a noose so many times that it just like became a nonsense word. Am I sure I'm not a voice actress? I'm not, but I'd like to be. Please go get some lemon tea with honey for your throat now. There's no time. But you guys can understand why I've been putting this off for so long. <laughs> My, I, like, every time I go to do the schizo post, man, it's just like... I see Yuri's <laughs> nauseatingly huge cock was now violently face-fucking. I'm gonna skip that. <laughs> are, almost, are almost all of these, like, phase involved? What is happening? What the fuck? Oh god, my eyes. Oh god, my eyes. Schizo company, schizo community, it happens. Chat has a type. One way to get attention for VA work is to join a TTRPG stream and get way into character. Fair. True and fair. My gen mates might not like me reading all those. Yeah, that's why, that's why I'm skipping some. That's why I'm skipping some, you know? I don't, I don't want to make people uncomfortable just for reading schizo post stuff. Is this healthy? No. And PCG is a perfect source of schizo post. <laughs> Francis Deck was a national treasure. What the heck? We don't have enough time to sift through all the non-phase VT boards. It's okay. We know you can't read about the company I'm a part of. I'm not in the company! I'm not in the company! You once destroyed a Reality Stars solo pilot for TV. The film crew was laughing too damn much to keep going. Wait, what? How? 
poke around indie game spheres might not pay a lot but the projects will probably be neat i mean i would love to i also just don't have time to do those things right now <clears throat> i can't read this one i can't read this one ah ah Crazy? I was crazy once. They locked me in a room. A rubber room. With arenas. And arenas make me crazy. Crazy? I was crazy once. <laughs> they locked me in a room. A rubber room. With arenas. <laughs> and arenas make me crazy. <laughs> crazy I was crazy once they locked me in a room a rubber room with arenas <laughs> and arenas make me crazy <laughs> crazy I was crazy once <laughs> they locked me in a room <laughs> a rubber room with arenas <laughs> Rat jam. Help! Send help! You feel like a communist doesn't really fit him. What? Come back from dealing with your brother crashing your truck and this is what you're doing? What the fuck? It's from the Donathon! It's from the Donathon! Also, I'm sorry your brother crashed your truck. That sounds like it sucks. <laughs> oh no, not one of these. Oh no, not one of these. You're having a stroke? <sighs> oh lord <clears throat> don't let your woman brain get in the way of using my brain to do things Come on, Barbie, let's go party! What's up, Oppenheim whores and bar bitches? Who's ready to get their ass rocked in the true Barbenheimer experience? Only the nastiest sluts are brave enough to watch both movies on the same night. But we won't be doing much watching. That's right. We'll be playing all around in the back row during an epic thriller and an exciting adventure. We'll blow as many times as we can during Oppenheimer and treat each other like dolls during Barbie. Send this to your suave men and your party women. If you get one back, you're a true Oppenheimer stan. <laughs> get five back and you're visiting Barbie's dream house. Get ten back and you will raise Oppenheimer himself back from the grave and show him an even better explosion can you get any back if you don't you'll have to put a barbie doll up your open hussy hello has this what did you just tune into i'm being your personal cringe bucket right now it's it's personal cringe bucket time. <laughs> Deleted user? Get wrecked. No clitty cages. <laughs> I am still not facilitating your odd ERP fetishes. Wow. Past me is so smart. <laughs> At some point in your exhaustion and lack of sleep during the subathon, you will forget. <laughs> Help. The valley girl is strong with this one. Like, it just lets you know that I am so much better than you without even having to hear me talk for very long. Like, the accent means that I am part of an elite class and you just don't have the IQ to understand. <clears throat> 
I just created about 20 Catholics because you, you think smoke? that put the fear of God into people. Skewky, I'm pretty sure I read one of those weird Clitty Cage things during the Donathon. You can read this one too. This will this will be cathartic for Ziz. <laughs> <coughs> Uh, I just threw up a little. Ew. Like, gag me with a spoon? <laughs> Valley Girl Kirsha's the anti Kirsha. Oh my god. He left in the 90s. What does what my, my all cap say? Fucking archiving like he was asked to do when he never. He. Fucking archiving like he was asked to to do when he never he deletes a channel. When, whenever, not when he never. I can't read. <clears throat> I'm about to get a little loud, chat. She's a valley girl for sure, for sure. I can't keep getting angry at Nim for not FUCKING ARCHIVING CHANNELS LIKE HE WAS ASKED TO DO! WHENEVER HE FUCKING DELETES THEM! Angie! Now you understand our plight. Chat, run. The echo. I leaned away from my Kirsha! mic. I, le I leaned away. Nim. <laughs> Nim. Nim. Yeah. Nim. Honestly? Nim. 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 <laughs> Honestly, my biggest fear is falling in love with someone and then finding out they have a a 4chan. Like, what do you do with that? They're a psychopath in love with the deep web and they're actually just trying to kill you hashtag 4chan hashtag i'm scared <laughs> i couldn't keep the slurping going <laughs> Um, cheeseburger. <laughs> At least she said deep web instead of dark web like most YouTube baiters. True. True. You just had to read it. You didn't have to actually make the sound. I am a method actor. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Who is who is me, Nia's? Me, 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 me. I don't want to mod it yet either. Who is <laughs> Nia's and her <laughs> fucked up toe? I, who is that? Is that a VTuber or an anime my woman? Is a bouncer and tries to shock me with stories from work. Think of all the crazy shit bouncers see, and now imagine this bodybuilder who's seen some shit visibly go on the defense when I mention worm sounding. Worm sounding. Probably both. I don't. I don't know who Nia's is, so I, I guess let's just go. Wet dreams plague me, which you didn't need to know. I just wanted to share the beauty of Nia's fucked up toe. As the thread progresses slow, the coom freely flow, as we bear witness to the show that is Nia's fucked up toe. I huffer and sniffer its marinated musk, and from my emissions, I made the peat glow. I am a stalwart feet lover, and deny her spiked tusk, for I've come only for Nia's fucked up toe. For depths unknown, I'm willing to go, no depravity considered too low. I release my fluids white as snow, in twisted, Adulation 
of Nia's fucked up toe. The last nut left me breathless, and my sight began to fade, though dying I think only of the toe and the milk I hast made. I type out a will and testament for my family and bros, all my savings and property, their Nia's fucked up toes. Sorrow envelops me as tears begin to flow, for I have lost a kindred soul, someone I called bro. Now vengeance is my goal, time to face my foe. It's time to pay the toll, Nia's fucked up toe. I don't know who Nia is, but I'm kind of jealous. That was really poetic. <laughs> I don't I don't know who that is, but like man, her skin is kind of neat. <laughs> Beautiful. Have oh, Wait, no, I'm not supposed to clap. That's offensive at a poetry slam. You got to you got to snap. You got to You got to snap your fingers. I can't snap very well cuz I have long nails. <laughs> Ryan, thank you for the two dollars. Didn't know you hit us with a new grapefruit technique. Goddamn. Dr. Seuss, but really fucking weird. That was a good one. That was my favorite one so far. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay. <laughs> You should raid into her later if she's live. Oh my god. <laughs> that would be really awkward and no, I, I wouldn't trust people to not bring it up. You know, I don't know if maybe if she's a chuba, maybe she's sensitive about her toe. I don't know. I, I'm just I'm just saying I'm jealous of her schizo. <laughs> Cars fixed. Just in time for my brain to be irreparably broken. I'm breaking your brain! Thank you for the five dollars. I'm glad you fixed your fucking car. Are they all crazy eyes? Anons, I think I'm going insane. Flashback noises. <laughs> Be me. Enjoy going on walks. Like to imagine someone walking with me. Keeps me company. Gives me someone to rebound ideas off of. Naturally, I choose my Oshi. Stop by a local place on the way home. Ask the guy for my regular meal. Oh, and one for my girlfriend. Motions to the chuba beside me. He does not see the chuba beside me. Oh shit. Dot MP3. Ah, uh, she, she, she's in the car. <laughs> guy gives me a weird look. I pay and take my food. I don't even own a car. Walk home with two burgers. I cannot eat two burgers. It was fine when it was in my head, but now it's having real world consequences. What should I do, Anons? Meds off for life. What the heck? I mean, if he got two burgers, that just means he got a burger for later. That's, uh, that's another meal. Simple, easy. Just mail the burger to Pippa. True, it'll be covered in mold by the time it gets there. What? I don't think I should do this one because it's got a lot of a lot of swearing and it's very offensive and it's got a lot of killing yourself and rape in it. So I feel like I feel like I don't want to get banned. Okay, she was like the turtle, Chad. What is this? What is this? What is this? Oh, this has to do with Mafu Mafu and Rushia? Probably shouldn't read this one either. <laughs> that had to be a Henry post. Man, VTuber fans are crazy. Uh, yeah. York ordering a burger for himself and one for Zach too. God, I love that man. Moving, moving right along. What?
His name is blurped out. <laughs> I don't I don't know what this is. You fell asleep. Did we finish that game? We did! The full VOD didn't get taken down either! I'm impressed! I managed to not get DMCA'd! Hello from Japan. Hello from Japan! I'm from America! Men Hera love. We crazy? No, that's crazy talk. Hello from India. Oh my god, that game was so good. You need to play it. Thank you for opening my eyes. I kind of want to play the sequel. I know everyone says it doesn't live up to the first game, but like, I need, I need more York in my life. Hello from Japan. I'm dead. Oh my god. Not taken down yet. We still have a lot of schizo post. Well, I meant, I meant the deadly premonition stream, Skewki. What if we're all men, Hera? I'm gonna lean back and I'm gonna yell at the stars like a jilted lover. I'm just, I don't know, I don't know. I feel, I feel weird when I do stuff involving other VTubers, right? Like I just, it makes me feel awkward cause I don't want, like I know Pippa will take it as a joke, but if people don't know me, they might just be like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Story is supposedly redundant with the first game and it runs poorly, but it has more fun York moments. I love York. If I like York, I won't like Deadly Premonition 2. Wait, why? Don't say that. I'll say, Hara, this is your cue. Might be better to skip this one. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. What is this? What the fuck is this? Controversial Foxu. Look, I'll have controversial political opinions, but I ain't about making other VTubers feel uncomfy. The domesticated pig? I don't like this image. But you guys are gonna get to look at this as I read the post. Madden pig. Eating pigs is a form of cannibalism. The domesticated pig was created by mixing the genetics of a human and a wild boar. Pigs were created to feed the newly introduced, shape-shifting, reptilian blue bloods. This was before the shape-shifting reptilians had a steady supply of human sacrificial victims. The blue bloods would eat the pigs daily as a way to maintain their human form. I know this sounds crazy, but ingesting human hormones and blood in reptilian form is essential for them to maintain their human appearance. This is the true reason for the reptilian blood rituals, and it still happens to this day. This is why both Judaism and Islam have prohibited eating pork and its products. They were told by God that it is unclean to eat, and that's good advice. This is also why pig skin can be grafted onto humans. Pig heart valves can be used in humans. And why we test many drugs and chemicals on pigs before us. Pigs are a human-animal hybrid. And they're extremely intelligent. And should be considered a form of humanity. Someone in the comments just hitting him with the I know they're crazy, but that means human made is delicious, right? What the fuck? <laughs> uh, yeah, but bacon. Bacon is the only pigu that I will eat. How did they become a human animal hybrid? I fucked that word up so hard, dude. Sentence structure? Words? Linglish? What? <laughs> this is real schizo hours. <laughs> Linglish. You thought I didn't like pig? I don't, but I like bacon. Bacon's the only part of a piggy that I will eat. Pork chops are gross. Ham is gross. Majority of pig meat has terrible texture and terrible flavor. Pig man cometh. Who boinked the piggy? 
In terms of breedability, pigs are the most compatible. Oh my god. Kapipi gatekeeping. It's more, it's more likely than you think. Least committed Kapipi. I hurt you. I hurt you bad. What, because I don't like the pigu? Hey. You are not a real Kapipi! Hogwarts Legacy Stream? For God's sake! A mainstream VOD? <laughs> what a joke! I worked my ass off to get where I am! You watch a couple of archived VODs and you think, suddenly, you're a Kapipi? <laughs> you do what I do just because you watch a couple of YouTube shorts and some clips? I committed my life to Pippa! <laughs> oh shit, is that me? Oh my god. Kiki <laughs> I worked my ass off. He watched some streams, yeah. Watch it. Oh god. Oh god, what is this? Hold on. I clicked a button. <laughs> Oh god, I clicked the button. Okay, it was just it was just a it was just a fucking creator discord thing. Nothing. No leaks. <laughs> Bros ordered 7 pairs of Pippa socks, one for every day of the week. True, true and real. <laughs> now this is the kind of schizo posting I can get behind, dude. Pet and fiend, thank you for the five Canadians. Literally you. He's literally me! For real, for real! My bull stole my husband, and I don't know how to deal with this. I made a throwaway for this. We started living in this lifestyle about six months ago. I found a bull who I really liked, and we got along really well. Soon, my husband joined in by watching. And then he helped us a bit and got m more involved. After some time, I started telling him to blow the bull and make him ready for me. He didn't object at all. I was surprised by this, but didn't object. It led to me watching him blow the bull and the bull coming on his face or mouth. I wanted to take it further, so I asked the bull to fuck my husband. But we had to practice for that, as my bull is on the bigger side. So I started fucking my husband with a strap on, and we slowly progressed to the bull. It led to me watching the bull fuck him. I sent them on errands together to humiliate him. But they became friends afterwards, and I didn't mind. Yesterday, my husband told me that he wants a divorce. This literally came out of nowhere. I checked his phone, but found nothing, and was lost as to why. I went to the bull's house and told him to talk to him, but he seemed reluctant to do that. He told me that my husband is dating him. I thought that this was a joke set up by them. It wasn't. He is serious about this, and now the both of them are dating. This is the side of cuckolding nobody told me about. I don't know what to say or how to feel. I can't even talk to anyone about this. I feel so embarrassed. I have a feeling this came off of Reddit, and I also have a feeling that this isn't real. I have a I have a feeling that this is like someone's fetish posting where like they want to be a humiliated sissy boy so fucking hard that they created some sort of fetish posting scenario where they have a wife who wants to turn them into a sissy who services the bull. And then they eventually end up falling in love with the bull and just getting fucking gay sex all the time. This is, this is definitely not real and definitely fetish posting. Seems fake and gay, both metaphorically and literally. What's this?
What? What am I reading? Bully caught Wham and then give it the two pounds. PSA, an open relationship isn't closed. Imagine consenting to an open relationship. That's never going to work out, baby. Poltergeist, thank you for the $5. Pork belly is the best part. Crisping it just enough to get a decent crunch and still a bit of soft. But give in the bite with a rich flavor. I don't like pork belly. Some reality TV show about open relationships where the husband goes full gay while the wife gets fat and sad. That doesn't surprise me. You were tagged by a crypto bot on Twitter with a Genshin Impact profile pic? Also not surprising. Opening the relationship is ending it? True. True and real. Words. You're always reading words. I am always reading words. I guess I need to read this one like I'm a bitch, right? <laughs> Fine, I'll pamper you too, Feminon. You should take your meds. Meds, hey! You can't <laughs> take me! That's timing. I'm willing to believe unused Boosy beats out the kind of Arby's number one combo that searches out for new balls to bring home. Ew. Personally, I wouldn't partake in either, though. Ew. Ew, that whole sentence structure is disgusting. Good. We'll start by shopping at Ulta because I need to get more shampoo and body wash. And since you're pampering me today, I don't think it'll be a problem for you to go in and buy them while I wait in the car, which should be at a comfortable 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Next, let's swing by Starbucks because all this waiting at Ulta has made me thirsty. You will purchase me a tall green tea lemonade with exactly three ice cubes, not one, not two, but three ice cubes. After the Starbies run, we will be shopping by Lululemon to buy me some new yoga pants to wear casually. I will not be trying them on for you. You will buy them for me and I will try them on when I feel like it. If they don't fit properly to my figure, you will be buying me new ones. But, but, EI poster, what about the old ones? I have to take them back. <laughs> Hell no. You'd probably sniff them or something like a creep. Buy me all new ones instead. For the final part of this day of pampering, you will take me to a nice spa for a full body massage, mani pedi, and facial. Don't you dare make a joke about that word. You will, of course, opt out for their or opt for their most luxurious package for me, which will likely include a masseuse. This masseuse should be female. No weird, random, creepy men touching me, unless he's hot. But I don't trust you enough to make that call. For dinner, you will surprise me with a nice new dress, and that will be some shade of blue because I like blue. Whatever I order, you should order something of similar costs so people don't get the wrong idea that you're poor due to ordering something cheap. As for drinks, water's fine, and I'd also like a nice bottle of red wine for the table. No, none of that cheap, shitty wine or sugary soda. A good bottle of red wine will do. I'm not having them bring me a pre-filled glass. You will be pouring this glass of wine for me as a romantic gesture. <clears throat> As for conversation, we will, of course, be talking about me and me only. If you interact, if you interject with a story of experience of your own, I will get angry and assume that you are trying to one-up me. Your reactions should range from, wow, that's fascinating, to you're so smart and kind. As a side note, you better not yawn or fake having to go pee or I will be angry. This is about me, not you. Your bodily functions can wait. I cannot. Once dinner is over, you will tell me how much you enjoyed pampering me and tell me how cute I am, as if you weren't talking to an infant child because it will make me feel good about myself. Then you will drive me home. If I feel that you did a good job pampering me, I will perhaps 
ask you for your number. If not, I will just exit the car and say nothing. You will not force your number on me. You will wait until I am at my door to leave. You will not scream bye or something like that because it's weird to yell that at night. You will simply drive off and await my phone call that may or may not come. So stand by. Fuck this, I'm installing Grinder. <laughs> it still goes on. It's over. It's over. The, the Eori poster can't hurt you anymore. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey. You can give me <laughs> butt scratches! Like I'm a real pet! Average ish dating experience. <laughs> A bongo bingo tango mango. Thank you for the nine month member. Take notes, Fox Woman. Now, this is how you fin them properly. It's almost like it's just a bit amateur. Get on Feminon's level. But I gotta, I gotta hit you with the. You will keep donating to me, and I may or may not thank you, but that is going to keep you waiting and hoping that I thank you one day. And if I notice that you're donating less than usual, I will find out where you live and I will send you letters, letting you know how displeased I am with the level of lack of funds you're giving me. Do you see how hard it is for me to think of that shit on the fly? It makes me feel like a bitch. <laughs> Text Gen AI still needs pretty HC graphics cards. What the heck? Also, uh, Hikimoto, are you okay? Do you need help? I don't. I don't. <laughs> I don't think I want to talk about someone getting their dick inside of my friend's Menhera breeder pussy. That's uh, you. You need some meds, sir. <laughs> you need some meds. My Findom is unironically the best immunization to the Findom experience. What did he mean by this? Pippa read this one on stream. Oh, did she? <laughs> A Menhera breeder. What? He knows what he wants, okay? True. True. Kirsha said she'd notice us. Oh my god. You've dated this monster before? Never do that again. You Wait, you dated a Findom fucking woman? Why would you do that to yourself? I'm sorry, mommy. Here's my money. Oh, thank you for the $4.99 hidden. <laughs> Red wavy objects. It means my Findom is funny. It makes other Findom attempts funny. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. But you're, but, but, not even $5? Oh my god. Oh, this is me. This is me. I feel like I've 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 said this before, like not even knowing it was a schizo post. Grind for better loot so I can use it to grind for better loot so I can use it to grind for better loot so I can use it to grind for better loot so I can use it to grind for better loot so I can use it to grind for better loot so I can use it to grind for better loot so I can use it to grind for better loot so I can use it to grind for better loot so I can use it to grind for better loot so I can use it to grind for better loot so I can use it to grind for better loot so I can use it to grind for better loot so I can use it to grind for better loot so I can use it to grind for better loot so I can use it to grind for better loot so I can use it to grind for better loot so I can use it to grind for better loot the MM low experience true true and real it's not a schizo, just MMO. Yeah? Yeah, I feel that in my blood, dude. Why is it that the Dami Mommy Hunter types seem to be the same that will loop in Goth Mommy? Like, can we divorce these items? It's a little concerning and weird. I have no idea what you mean. A few years back, when Twitter had a big push for sex positivity, your mom tried to get into the porn industry. One of the things she tried hardest on was becoming Findom, but even the Spurgs looking to be Findom thought she was too annoying. I'm sorry about your mom. <laughs> Why are you guys like this? What? What? Sorry about that. This is this is a little much. All right, this is a 
This is, this, is a, this is a little much, okay? All right, you even talk about making sure to not prematurely ejaculate? Look at this fucking weakling not wanting to give the Pipkin Pippa two cums. Not gonna treat her as well as Sally, I see. Fucking schizo. Yes, I broke. Yeah, yes, I broke. This is, this is... The Shiori ones are the worst. This can't be a fa- like, I'm on the edge here, right? Like, I want to read it because it's so viscerally disgusting that it has to be schizo, right? But, like, I don't want to read it in case it's a fetish thing. The fucking Ricardo Lopez posting. I make the makeup run. Oh, my God. You've prepared breakfast. This is your first time having <coughs> breakfast over at Shiorin's place. Sleeping overnight was fun with an excessive hugger like her. Luckily, the rest of Advent wasn't in town for the weekend, so you're off the hook. Filled up the bowl with bran flakes. Noticing Shiori walking towards you. Good morning, Sh- She grabs your bowl of dry bran flakes. She puts it on the floor. She squats above the bowl. Shiori, what are you- She lifts her skirt up. Not a panty to be seen. You manage to see some crimson dark stains on her skirt. Oh no. Shiori, don't. Menstrual blood begins to drip into the bowl. It fills up, dripping viscously from her. I can't say that word. Staining the cereal black and red with <coughs> decomposed womb flesh. Shiori picked up the bowl and laid it back on the table. It looks horrible to look at. The scent almost brought bile and acid to the edge of your throat. She stares at you enthusiastically, awaiting your next move. Mm. Oh well. Itadakimasu. I'm assuming that's what that says. <laughs> no, not the cereal! <laughs> you must eat all the bran flakes. eating right now <laughs> my brand flakes wait dude deserved it for wanting to eat dry cereal throughout my teen years i only ate cereal dry because i hated the texture it would get when i would put milk in it and then when i when i got slightly older i figured out the the cool trick of uh getting a glass of milk with your bowl of cereal using the spoon to gently dunk the cereal in the cup of milk and then eating it that way because then it was still crunchy but you got the nice soothing coldness of the milk and now now i just kind of drink milk with cereal you know no cessation this shall be eternal you're one of those degenerate that's a lot of work it's a lot of work being this autistic what the fuck is this this is way too long fuck off What is this? This man's last sentence that says, As a brap queen, can you tell me what kind of food do you digest? I want to match our diet so the smell will be similar. I bet this guy watched my collab with Pippa, where where I brought up the the build a brap idea. <laughs> you dish creating lunatic! 
You don't eat your cereal with desk ketchup? You've never been more happy and yet appalled. Well, no, it doesn't go... It doesn't go in fucking cereal. It's not for ketchup. The loathsome dung eater. Who is DJP Daltondo? What is this? What is this? You win, asshole! But I will say this! You betray me! With your stupidity! And your stupid mods! Just fucking stupidity! I don't forgive you! If I see you, you better pray I don't end you in a heartbeat! Why would I waste my time with a human being? Who is pretend she is not of she is? There is a lot of people on my shit list, and you are one of them. I will say this, and one more time, I want to say to only you, Spectre, fuck you, you stupid piece of fucking shit. What is this? What did I just read? You're fucking dead, kiddo. <laughs> Why does Kirsha pretend she is not of she is? <laughs> Ooh, scary. <laughs> Ooh, the scary, scary Twitch Whisper that probably wasn't even seen for months because who the fuck looks at Twitch Whisper? <laughs> Kaiser Vermillion, leave the $5. I'm not a squeamish person, but that was just vile. Like, I've seen some fucked up shit, but that serial bit was just horrendous. That's a scary 15 year old right there. <laughs> what? <laughs> I think I've read this one before. I remember saying the cutest rabbit anal princess. And I don't think I would have ever said that under any other context than reading this copy pasta. <laughs> <laughs> I was like that that is that's triggering some brain gears in my head, dude. <laughs> you remember this. Okay, good, it's not just me. Okay, good, it's not just me. You may have dysphoria, but you're happy you don't have periods. Yeah, please, please don't do the tomatoes. <laughs> do not go into the light! Why do they wish to the Pippa? God damn! Why'd they add emotes to it? So it's like those those weird copy pastas like I read earlier. I don't think I want to hear that one. Slash says hi. Said he remembers me saying this. So at least someone does. So I guess I'm not crazy. Did you forget you're in the schizo thread? Yes. See? <laughs> it's October. You know what that means. Dick Sucking Awareness Month! Oh, yeah! It's time to get spooky, get fisted by a skeleton, shove candy corn in your pussy, and don't forget to suck some Dracula dick! Let's get this spooky! Man, I want some candy. I love candy corn. <laughs> here's a here's a variation, I guess. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I'm fucking laughing. <laughs> I'm feeling the spook. Can you feel my ectoplasm? Oh, it's Cocktober, and you know what that means. Dick Sucking Awareness Month. Send this to 12 of your closest hoes that love that dick. Thought a ween is upon us. If you get this message, you are queen of the thoughts. Forward this to seven of the thoughtiest thoughts that you know will get some soon. 
If you don't, be prepared for 69 days of bad luck. Attention! Don't forget to suck some Dracula dick. So, put on your costumes and go door to door, begging for that good good. Send this to 12 spooky sluts to show that you're ready to get some chocolate covered dick. Boo! Oh, sorry, did I scare you? What's up, girl? It's Cocktober! And if you are getting this, it means you are a Halloween hoe. Spicy cat raid? What the hell is this spicy cat raid? Every year in Cocktober, the jack of slut comes to life, coming to harvest his hoes for thought of ween. Send this to 15 other Halloween we knows or else you're a trick if you get five back you're a thought treat if you get ten back you're a slutty witch bitch but if you get 15 the back fuck along? you're the spookiest hey uh hermit how <laughs> thank you for the raid <laughs> God damn. Welcome, welcome raiders. Welcome raiders. Why is, why is this one so big? Ooh, baby, can I have the cream? Time to get spooky. Oh, hey, big guy. It's time to get spooky. Unfortunately, I agree. Hell yeah. <laughs> why is it so big? Surely this bid is over. It's never over. It never ends. It's not often I get to turn into the refrigerator, you know? <laughs> what is this? Yo. Okay, first of all, I'm like I'm tempted to read it despite it being horrif horrifically fetishy uh because this is the only not gay thing I've ever seen Epsy post. Eps Epsy is so gay that I have had to intervene and tell him, "Hey, you got to you got to turn the homosexuality down a little bit. You're up at like a 24 and I need you down at like an eight, okay? If pride parades are a 10 of homosexuality, you're a 24, I need you at an eight, all right, okay? So this is like literally the straightest thing I've ever seen him post. It's a historic post, but I don't want to talk about Pippa edging. <laughs> Please ampersand, he's German. Oh God. I'm in high school, and not to brag, but I'm probably the most Sigma Alpha male that has ever walked through the school hallways. Obviously, everyone makes way for me when I shuffle through the crowds to get to class. It's almost like I'm the main character in an anime. As I got to class, I heard a little twerp saying, Ew, Flopper-chan stinks. I couldn't let it slide. This twerp would really say my stench stinks. I even used my Adidas cologne today. In class, I saw the twerp asked to go to the bathroom. Then I asked to go as well. I had a big menacing grin on my face as I followed him to the bathroom. Flopper Chan, it's a single stall. What are you doing here? I laughed at him. I'm feeling romantical. His confused face disappears, and he starts quivering. Wah! The grip goes crazy. I can't control my demons anymore. All right, bud, I'm done. But the grip is too crazy. I can't escape. He's got me in domain expansion grip. The moral of the story is, if it's grippy... It's gonna be sticky. This guy needs a priest, right? 
Shugazi, what? What did you? Where did you? How did you? What? Did Nano write this? <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> I. How did you find this? Where is this from? <laughs> What possessed you to do this? It was a donathon reward. More milkies. More milkies. <laughs> it's an autobiographical Shugazi post. <laughs> well, this one could have been fun to read. But it it goes immediately into vagina stroking again. Why are you like this? <gasps> oh yeah oh yeah why did i say shoe gazer like that his name is shoe gazi like the shoes being thrown on the gaza strip that's how i remember his name desert punk 247 they give them 199 you just turned in tuned in now i've witnessed brilliance i uh i had some i had some asmr requests you know catch up on you know catch up cotton eye joe where did you come from where did you go where did you come from cotton eye joe try not to lose the pippa challenge impossible like i know What the fuck did you just fucking say about the Korsha? You little bitch! No, have you know, I graduated top of my class in the Navy courses! And I've been involved in numerous secret raids on Twitch! And I have over 300 confirmed kills! I am trained in gorilla stream watching! And I'm the top sniper in the entire Kyushistani armed forces! You are nothing to me! But there's another target! I will wipe you the fuck out! With precision, the likes of which has never been seen before on this earth! Mark my fucking words! You think you can get away with saying that shit to me over the internet? Think again, fucker! As we speak, I am contacting my secret network of spies across the Kyrgyzstani and Pakistani region, and your IP is being traced right now. So you better prepare for the storm, Kusha fucker. The storm that wipes out the pathetic little thing you call your life. You're fucking dead. Kid, I can be anywhere, anytime, and I can kill you in over 700 ways, and that's just with my bare hands. Not only am I ostensibly trained in catch-up combat, but I have access to the entire arsenal of the Kyrgyzstani Marine Corps, and I will use it to its full extent to wipe your miserable ass off the face of the continent. You little shit! If only you could have known what unholy retribution your little quiver's comment was about to bring down upon you! Maybe... You would have held your fucking tongue. But you didn't. You couldn't. And now, you're paying the price. You goddamn bloomy what? I will shit fury all over you. And you will drown in it. You're fucking dead, kiddo. More of this, please. I like this. I like this schizo posting. Give me more of this and less of the fetish posting, dude. <laughs> Just finish walking the dog. What did I miss? I'm gonna have to pin this. 
pin message yes please <laughs> pin message yes please oh god my tongue my tongue hurts my tongue hurt and i have headache now chat <laughs> It's likely someone committed murder after sending this copy pasta, and people thought it was clearly a meme, so ignored it as evidence. True. <sighs> True. What's going on, y'all? Seeing bridge at work? That's a different bridge. Imagine not using the Korsha model while saying the Korsha copy pasta. I mean, it would take me ten minutes to do that switch, dude. Tang, tang hat, tang hat. Please don't pretend. They use too much oxygen. Reading the cringe. I shake a lot when I do that shit too, because I gotta like I gotta like strain certain parts of my body <laughs> to get like certain <laughs> help certain vocal pitches and I <laughs> help I'm out of water. <laughs> help. Oh god. Okay. Houston. A Hugh Houstani. We has ein problem. I'm gonna call it a day. It's been a hell of a day. It has. I need I need to recover because I have I have side squallers tomorrow at noon Eastern. I have to try and wake my dumb ass up in the AMs. Oh god. I'm not a morning foxy. Not a morning foxy at all. <laughs> On small break from work, glad the foxy was laughing. Thank you. Thank you. You guys you guys bring up my spirits, yo. You bring up you bring up my happiness and it makes me feel good. You forgot about side scrollers. Yeah, side scrollers tomorrow. Tomorrow at noon. I don't know if they've already sent out a tweet, but I'll have to I'll have to see if they have and, and retweet it. If if they did, if not, I'll wait for them so I can retweet it. Back from the bike. Much needed distress. Welcome back. Welcome back. Noon. You have a day off and you get to catch the fox in full. Yeah, noon Eastern. Like three three hours uh before my normal stream time. There's no normal stream tomorrow, by the way. When's the Gundam stream? Next week, Wednesday. That's April 3rd, I think. Yeah, April 3rd. April 3rd. I... I can't open my browser that is the browser I use to check Twitch to raid people. <laughs> I can't open browser, which is a problem. <laughs> You're not a morning person either, but you still have to get up at like 5.40ish. I couldn't do that, dude. I couldn't do that. You'll be late to the stream. Tomorrow morning is gym. <laughs> You're just watching those guys. Are I can't I can't YouTube raid today. I can't YouTube raid because my YouTube is also in the browser that I can't open. Can't the Jannies set up a raid? They can. This is this is me. This is me asking my Jannies for help. <laughs> this is this is me asking my Jannies if there's if there's somebody that I usually raid that's on right now. Actually, let me look at my friends list on Discord because that'll probably show me. That'll that'll probably show me right. Oh God, I can feel my neck. Oh god, I need to stop talking. Oh god, it's happening. Oh god, it's happening. Pickle was hanging out. Okay, we'll raid Pickle. We'll raid we'll raid the Pickle. Sneak deadly gangsters. Raid Pickle VT. Let's see. Let's see if this works. I'm pretty sure her name is just Pickle VT, right? Did that work? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Um, I'm ending just a little bit early here because I am literally dying at the moment. I'm sorry the beginning of stream was fucking rough and ranty, but uh, thank you guys. I uh, thank uh, thank you guys for for listening to me rant. Uh, you know, uh, it's it's very it's very stressful having to deal with some of these things and trying to you know trying to trying to do well. I don't I don't want to upset people. Thank you for letting me rant, Chad. I appreciate you. I know I missed a lot of a lot of thank yous today, especially on Twitch since I couldn't. I couldn't open my browser. Hopefully I'll get it fixed soon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you everyone. I'm going to go I'm going to go rest cuz I feel like death. Uh please someone tell Pickle that I I can't be there cuz I can't open my browser. I love the Pickle. I love the Pickle woman. Have a great rest of your night everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs>